Yes, hello. It's time. It's time to finish Luofu once and for all. And we've waited long for this to come. So today I'm happy to say I will see Panacony. I will witness the glorious land that I haven't been able to enter. Oh, especially for YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed the HSR video, by the way. Uh, the HSR video was quite the wow project to, to have made. Uh, and it was really, really fun. But uh, the interesting thing is how, despite it being such an ambitious idea, uh, I don't think a lot of people have caught the, the news of the new HSR vid. And if y'all can be very kind to support it, make sure to watch it so that more people will see of it. Because I think the thumbnail goes hard, alright? The thumbnail had a whole entire photo shoot uh, yesterday night in order to get that to work. I'll, I'll show you all what I mean by the thumbnail if you know absolutely nothing that I'm saying. Um, give me a tiny while. I'm just fixing up some quick matters oh, oh, oh why am i pinning you saying the thumbnail is so cool <laughs> no, i'm pinning the the link of the vid i'll probably be doing this every time i stream so if you don't mind um whether you mind or not i'd still do it anyways basically we will we will always have the newest video pinned you can see that Cookie is basically on a roll, right? We're putting up videos a lot more than February and January on both channels. That's the, the experience. So, uh, both Arknight staff, new game staff, you'll see it in the, the two places. And then the other big exciting news, all right, is that we will start seeing shorts. Those of you on YouTube, you're on the main channel right now, right? The Cookie Kazi channel. I got, I got big news for you. Look forward. I'm gonna start adding shorts to the channel, and the shorts are gonna be stream shorts. So all the best parts, all the fun parts, are coming in. Whether it's an old stream, a new stream, with a stream two years ago, or Let's go to Baby Days, Cookie's first ever stream. You're gonna see some of the big Twitch clips entering to YouTube. Except, it's more edited. What about us Twitch viewers? You can already watch the clip, it's just not edited. Right? It's not edited to be a clean watch for you. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, I have something to share with you all before I get started with the lawful story. So, two things actually that I want to share with you all. First thing is about the new video. And then the second thing is a story of today because I did something I thought I would never do. And I don't think you all would know what that thing is as well. So not to leave you hanging, today I went to a maid cafe. And it was scary. So which story- wait wait wait, now chat, tell me, which story you wanna hear first? You wanna hear the Maid Cafe story? Or you wanna hear the story of the latest video? You gotta choose. Both. 
Oh, I can't say both at the same time. It's gonna scramble the words. Meet meet cafe first. Okay, meet cafe story. Let's let's do that. Hold on, let me get my phone. Cause there's the pictures. Cafe. So, my friend invited me to her personal project of doing a meat cafe and the reason why I was invited is because they had an available seat and then she was just telling me, hey, we would love to fill up that seat, would you like to come? And so I said, you know I'm not into meat cafes, like, I can never imagine myself there enjoying sitting in it whatsoever. Tama Stray Cat, thanks for the raid, over on the... The, the Twitch side. By the way, how do you enable rates on the YouTube side? I was told that YouTube have rates, but I don't know how to enable it. Oh, that, that's a third thing that I need to say. But okay, Tama Stray Cat, thanks for bringing people in. Sit in, it's a Honkai Star Wars stream, but I got stories to tell you. Here's a story of me entering a mid cafe. So my friend brought me there. I said I wasn't very interested because I don't see myself enjoying a mid cafe. But I said, if you are going to feed me, I guess I'll be okay. So, I went there, and there were five uh, working mates over there. So let me show you their, their Instagram. It's a one-day event that happened today. So, this... Is it this? No. Yeah, I'm locating the Instagram. Let me show you the screen website. There you go. Can see? Can see. Yeah. So this was the the, the cafe. Um so they basically had Singaporean cosplayers to come over to be the mates for us and then the point of a meat cafe being they serve us food. They serve us food, they feed us uh, the stuff, and then they play game with us. Or if you have been to a meat cafe, you know, they, they like to do the, the fun little actions like, oh, do this little chant with me so that your food will taste better. But oh my god, I was so nervous being there because I don't do well with meat. Wait, I gotta ask you this chat. Have you been to a meat cafe? Like, any of you do specially go to make cafes? No? No? Lots of no's? Never, but you want to. One time. You'll feel weird the first time. I think it was even harder for me. Exactly because I was alone. Like, I, I, I told her I want to go with a friend. But then there wasn't a space for a second friend. So I just went there on my own. So, a lot of people were just sitting in groups and they're just there like, Oh my god, I, why are all these mates just around me for, for, for some odd reason? Um, but yeah, they, they, some of them are pretty known in the Singapore context with, if, if people care about the cosplayers. Like uh, this, her name is Tine. Um, her name is Rail. She was the friend that invited me over. Um, and then there were others as well, like uh, Saku, uh, Kaoru, and Jiu. So they, uh, in terms of the size of their following, some of them might not match up to each other, but they were all pretty good. So I went there and then, you know, I got some food and that was pretty much what I had over there. Uh, I asked Tine, one of the mates, to go and make me a heart. And this was the heart that she made me. Like let me just say that of the four of the of the of the five people that were there, Tine is the most unhinged. Like it's how she is in real life as well. 
So, she just made the most chaotic heart that could happen. Um, I took a picture of it where it looked like this, and then I was pretty confused because, of, I mean, she drew it upside down, but I thought, like, the rice was upside down, so she was drawing the heart the wrong way, until I realized I flipped the, like, I flipped the photo and I looked at it again. Y'all can't really see it very clearly, but um, it's, it is a proper heart in the end, although I couldn't tell what the rice shape were making, until I looked into their Instagram and I realized, oh, they were bunnies. So that was that. And then um Yeah, it 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 it's it looks a little Looks like chaos. But I don't mind it. This is uh one of the mate's greatest creation. And then I think the problem with it was one of the bunnies lost its ears because the, the vegetables were covering it. So I thought the other one was a bear. I don't know, I was really confused. Like, I can I can see what was the one on the right, but I couldn't tell what was the one on the left. So, yeah. And then, they had some little merch which was sweet. So they had, like, themed, uh, this is like a, what do you call that, a coaster? A marble coaster that they gave for free, which was really nice. And then, they also had a bit of a gacha. So, a lot of the people who went there, they didn't exactly go there for the food, right? They go there because maybe there is a maid or someone within there that they recognize, they know. So, as a result, people go there in the hopes of being attended by them. So, they also had this little, like, gacha card. Uh, so, it's like a sleeve. And then, when you pull it open, you will get one of the maids. So, I was just telling my friend, um... It must be a coincidence that I somehow got your card. So, yeah. And then there was also the, like, a drink that I had by the side. It was a matcha latte. You can't really see the... Yeah, my camera's not doing justice. Oh, there you go. You can see a... A, a little bunny with a, which is, with a pretty iconic face on it. <laughs> but I still like the, the drink anyways. And then I also had one where... Honestly, this the the entire time it just felt like I was in a chaotic uh experience. This was another mate, Saku, who was trying to draw a bunny, and apparently, basically, she tried to draw the bunny like kind of like lying down, and then she put the little thing on the white part, and she just told me, you know, that's where the things come out of. So that was my cream puff. Yeah. So I, I I was really nervous to even take the pictures with the with the mates, I'd be honest. I, I learned something, by the way, which is I'm not necessarily nervous around girls per se. Like I have friends that are girls. But I think I get nervous around an absurd number of girls around me. Like, it's a very weird feeling. I don't I don't think I enjoy it per se. It's just it's an uncomfortable zone that is not normal in my life. So, gosh. Um, yeah, that was an experience to go to the maid cafe. Would I ever go to the maid cafe again? If a friend deliberately drags me and say, you gotta go to the maid cafe, then I don't know, may maybe I'll follow and, and then we'll go there. But if, if not, I, I guess, yeah, on my own will, I wouldn't. Uh, would I visit again? Like, I'm not someone who gets pleased by someone serving me food in a maid costume or being cute to me. In, in And here's the thing. I die by cute things. Like, it's I don't flood my life with cute things. But if there's someone who I think is really good looking or really cute looking, I will die if they get anywhere near to me. Like, so there were, there were also services that you could have asked for over there. Let me show you. Right, there, there, there's, there was also this that you could have done. I can't do it. I don't want it. It's not for me. Like, I can't, bro, 
If I get Cuphead donned by anyone in that cafe, or just anyone in general, I will... The, the grave must be dug at the cafe. Because I will collapse. Like, I think my friend doesn't realize this, but I was just very... I felt like I was going to have anxiety developed while I was there. Um, one of you kept asking who's my favorite. I do have a favorite. I don't know who this cosplayer is, but I think she's very pretty. I was telling my friend that I'm now her new fan because I think she's very pretty. So yeah, this was my favorite. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, you can basically just ask for services. So, you know, you can be asked to be fed, which I cannot imagine being fed by anyone. Uh, you can, you can, you can handhold. Um, or, or yeah, you can just request for other things. So, there's that. Never, never do that. But if, if any of you in person, somehow in the future, I don't know, meet me at a convention and you force me to undergo an experience like that, you will kill me. Basically. You don't have to kill me by deadly weapons. You kill me by putting someone, putting me through this experience and, and I will collapse. Basically. So that, that's my experience of the Maid Cafe. It was cool. I, I, big, Thanks to my friend, Rio, for hosting the event because uh, she worked really hard to make this special project happen. And it was just a one-day event. I saw the, the reactions of the people. Everyone seemed generally very happy to be there. They enjoyed their time. They enjoyed playing their games. So yeah. Oh, funny funny enough story once more um, to, to end this off. Uh, a game that I played with my friend was a simple game of Scissors, Paper, Stone. And you know, that's the chum chum chum, right? So... Jump 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 is the game where when you point to a person and you point somewhere else, you're supposed to look away. So, for example, if I point to the left now, you're supposed to look anywhere but the left. Otherwise, you lose. So, before you decide who does the, the, the moving motion, you, you play Scissors, Paper, Stone. So, that decides who is the, the hand flicker. So, I played Scissors, Paper, Stone with her. And we got really frustrated. You know why? We stalemated seven times. She was it, it it went from her being really happy to just play a game with me to her being very frustrated and wanting to get it done and over with. Yeah, and we just kept doing bam, 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 and it was stuck. No, it's not that she was competitive. You know the thing is, the 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 point of me playing the game with her was she was gonna give me a present. She gave me a bunny sticker. But so, so because of that, she wanted to lose. So that I can win, since I'm the customer. But she, neither of us could win nor lose. We got stuck. So, oh wells, there's that. Um, if any of you intend to follow them, yeah, you can go and look it up. This is Maiden Cafe. You can look up their own socials, uh, and, and you know, you can see their, their cosplay accounts if you want to. These are all Singaporean cosplayers, by the way. So if you all are interested, go ahead and follow them. Yeah, that's my... Um, story for Big Cafe. Okay, next story. Uh, HSR video. So, the HSR video was wild, I would say. Right? Because the, the whole thumbnail is mega cooked. Let me show you all a, a short storyline of the thumbnail. So, we, we had a photo shoot yesterday, and at that point in time, my thumbnail maker told me that I should emulate this. He told me I should do this. And I was like, I'm not Sparkle. Why must I do this? Oh, it was Kev yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Kev's idea, and then Chrome took the idea and wanted to make it happen. So he told me to do this, and I, at first, right, I was just wearing pants. Okay, I was just wearing pants, normal home clothing, and everything. And at that point, I was just like, I, I legitimately tried to take the picture. Wait, I actually have more pictures that I didn't send to the group. So, so I'm gonna show you. Oh no, I don't have that many pictures. Okay, but originally I was just wearing pants. So when I did the cross leg, I was just staring at my legs and I'm like, Oh god, 
if I show my regular bare legs, everyone's gonna see the goodness, glorious, manly hair that I have in the thumbnail. So I wore a, a good set of pants. Alright, a good set of black pants. And then we went into photo shoot mode. So we went into photo shoot mode and and like I took a a whole bunch of like I I was trying. I kept sitting there thinking what's the angle of my feet? What's the angle of my face? What's the angle of my arm? How do I exactly become sparkle? I I was trying to figure how could I really be her? I was down to the wire, the details, okay, when, when posing in that picture. But let me also mention this. The thing is, the whole idea also came about because in the video, if you haven't seen it, it's pinned, okay, for those of you on YouTube and those of you on uh, Twitch. I pinned it there. In that video, if you've watched it, you will have heard that uh, it would be funny if I make a thumbnail of me sitting on box, right? Because a lot of the times in the pools, I was talking about how I can pool better than box. Or at least I think so. I think I'm a luckier person and I'll give my viewers what they want. So that's when they gave the idea of sitting on the box. And I told them, I have a box at, at home. Do you want me to sit on the box? Which was why I'm filming myself sitting on the box. So, and then originally, before we had the idea of posing as Sparkle, we said, my, my, my thumbnail maker said, why don't you do some gang poses? You know, just do gang poses and, and, and look cool or something so that you, you attack box too. I did the most cringe-worthy thing I could ever imagine in my life for at least this year. What the fuck is this? What is this stupid gang pose? Hello? Imagine if this was the thumbnail. I'm um, Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast bootleg version? So that, that, that happened. And then... Of course, the end result turned out nice and great. And... We ended up creating... We ended up creating this... This was the final outcome. Which I hope was good and enjoyable for you guys. It looks funny. What do you think? What do you think? Copy up enough? Well, I don't have twin tails at home, okay? I don't have like casual Hatsune Miku pin on hair that I could just take from the wardrobe. Did I actually DM box too? I did. Wait, so here's the thing. I think a lot of people don't seem to realize in this thumbnail that the, the smallest of detail is this. I'm sitting on box. I think people didn't click. It's the hidden detail of the thumbnail. So, that's the whole idea of the Sparkle Pool. You're too focused on the feet being revealed. Bro, we made sure, okay? I told I told my dear Chrome that hole, we cover it, all right? You'll see how this thumbnail literally teased the glorious hole. I need to keep it there. Otherwise, all of you are going to use my toe and do your own pools, okay? They are, they're, my, they're my, my valuables. But the feet is fine. Actually, I put an arrow pointing box too. <laughs> I let the US decide. So this was very fun for me to make. But uh, at the same time, I think this was a very adventurous approach for the fact that this is a very new idea, right? Uh, first time in a really long time, apart from making Ark Knights videos or if not reverse videos, we've got Honkai Star Rail in the channel. Um, I was expecting the video to work out a little bit better, but I realized the YouTube algorithm hates me because... Um, the video isn't as watched, but I was thinking, is it because, like, the HSR people aren't watching? 
I don't mind showing you guys uh, this little detail, but uh, it seems that YouTube is not pushing the video to our dearest HSR audience because everybody who has watched the video are subscribed. And you know what that means? It means it's not going out for HSR to watch. But it's fine. You know why? Because we're gonna have a second HSR video. The second HSR video will be tomorrow. And I think that video is also super fun. The the second HSR video will be about uh me reviewing the characters. So I'm good I think it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, we, we have to let the algorithm slow cook. Because I think the algorithm is confused. Why this man go AK, Sade go HSR? By the way, is there co going to be completely no more Arknights videos on the main channel? No. There will there will still wait, no as in there will still be Arknights videos. Expect it to be a mix mash, a mishmash of lots of things in the channel. So basically we're not we're trying to graduate from a bit of a guide arc, right? All the while that you all have watched me on YouTube, you all have always seen me as the guy to teach you how to play a stage, how to build your characters, all of that, second channel. If I wanna make those guides again, second channel. Okay, the second channel is there. If you are still living under a rock and don't realize that Cookie runs this thing called Cookie Outer. Yes, I changed the name away from the freaking Cookie Kaze 2 because everyone was getting confused what is Cookie Kaze 2. Um, yeah, Cookie Outer. This is AK. Pure AK. I want to shift because I think the main channel needs to grow. And therefore the, sh the change. This thumbnail is- wait, by the way, I apologize that the video was not HD when uploaded. I think it's HD now. So if you all missed it, you all were annoyed that the quality wasn't great, it should be perfectly fine now. And that thumbnail was also funny because last- this is the second last thing I want to share. And then let's start playing. Wanna see the photo shoot? What is Lad doing? What am I looking at? I look like a kid. What the what the what the hell? He looks like a kid going to school. Right? And I have my headphones on. And then look at me. What am I doing? It doesn't even look proper. <laughs> Oh, when am I gonna start the quest? <laughs> and then, and then I realized I had my headphones on, which looks weird, because no one has HyperX mufflers in winter, so I took it off. And then this just just looks funny because of my scared expression. And then, of course, the final outcome became this. And so, once we did all of that, then we cooked the thumbnail. And with the work, beautiful help of Dragonverse, my second thumbnail maker, our end product was this. Which this has a lot of little details as well. We put the black snow in the background, if y'all didn't notice. We put the Empress Blade in the background, and we put the hand in the background. And, and it, it becomes a, a beautiful masterpiece for you guys to see. So, yeah, again, well well cooked thumbnails. Okay, here's the thing. We're gonna have a little bit more fun, okay, in the future. A lot of thumbnails, I think it's time to graduate from standard thumbnails, right? It's time for us to say no to templated, same face, same angle, chair being there. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment a bit more so that you all can see some fun ideas like this to come very soon. So again, when this stream ends or while you're watching the stream, whichever it is, go and support both channels. Watch this story, watch the other video as well and look forward to more things. Okay, okay last thing that I want to share. The last thing is... I think 
my cheer bits text to speech is complete. I again, I it might sound like I'm baiting, okay? I cannot put bits into my own channel. Do any of you want to test putting one bit in with a message? Let's see if it has a text to speech. I went to resolve it. Okay, YouTube, I don't have a function that lets you super chat and the super chat gets read out. I'm going to add that in the next stream. So, text to speech should work in Twitch now. At least that's what I tested just now. It seemed to be fine when I simulated it. So if any of you want to test it, go ahead. If not, uh, we'll wait until one first person actually puts in a bit, and then we will see whether it works. And or if not, I'm a scammer, <laughs> basically. So there's that. Okay, shall we play HSR now? Let's go back to Luofu. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's figure this out. I should I should be figuring this out off stream, but Where's my Hello? I got skin. Wait. I scammed someone. Chat. It has happened. Someone has been scammed. They sent a bit. It was not read out. So do you report against me or do you report against the, the software that is now killing me? What do I do? Wait. But it's right there! Wait, chat, you see? Wait. Look at this. I simulate it, okay? Emmeline cheered Dex 1000. See, you can hear it! But why does it not work when when a guy gives a bit? Wait, it's a bit different from... A bit is not different from a cheer, is it? Right? Ah, this is weird. Wait. So you said cookie scam, but why is it not showing up? Hmm... I even set the minimum amount to zero, which is the which is the oddest part about this, because of the fact that I set it to zero. Ah, <gasps> oh, okay. I will have to go and figure out what's going wrong with the system. Never mind. Looks like the system is still broken. We'll we'll resolve it another time. Make the minimum amount set to one. You think so? Oh, okay, let's try. I think, I mean, so many of you are suggesting that. Sounds like a good idea. Minimum amount set to one. Eh? No, 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 no. Okay, I set it to one. So, does that work? It's, it's, it's set to one now. Triple to scam. Bro, I'm the one reading it out now. God damn it. <sighs> I need to report this bug to the software. Can you make a video about me telling Box2 to delete his channel? You could if you want to. I mean, Box2, by the way, Box2 knows that I was making this video and that I was going to feature him in the thumbnail. So, yeah, I got his permission in case he, he wouldn't like it. Okay, last thing. Where should I put my camera and chat? Because what I've learned is that this position of the chat box is not good since it covers the pools. Where do you want to be, chat? Or where do you want me to be? Should I be should I be should I be here? If I'm here, do I block anything? I only block text, right? I block ID, which is okay, right? I block something when I fight. Wait, when I fight? I 
I will block one character. Hold on. Oh! Wow, HSR doesn't make it easy. Can below quest and pet below me. Success. So should it just be? I think if chat is bottom right, you guys will be will be gone, no? Lower the cam a bit. This is as far as I lower, I guess. Does this not... Does this have minimal blocking? I mean, I think the problem is when there's pools. We need a transparent chat background. I think my issue is that, okay, so if I don't have a chat background, right, the problem is the color of the chat itself, right? Unless you all don't mind it. I think the chat font needs to be white. Oh, it's fine? Oh, you guys think this is fine? Font needs to change. But if you all say this is fine, I guess we'll leave it as it is. Okay, I guess we'll leave it as it is for now then. I'll try to improve it next time. Alright. Now where am I? Oh, I hit the wrong guy. What do you want to know? <laughs> Great, good start. Uh you won't get away. I have something for you. But that guy's gonna revive. I'm asking questions. Test. Zero points. Destiny isn't chosen. Kill one. Hit the other. GG. Okay. Use background less obesity. It's kind of less obesity already. Reach the end of the story uh, yeah, I just need to change the font color to white. I think it will work. Okay. So, what's the progress of my HSR account? I am now equilibrium level 5. Yeah, yeah. When 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 it's black screen, the font goes bye-bye, man. Um we're we're already at equilibrium level 5 and the next quest has me trying to enter this part of the map. What's my Trailblazer rank? 51, I think. 51. I need to outline my fonts. Wait, should I just quickly fix that now? Let me see if I can. It depends if the bot that I'm using has that function to outline the text. Let me just quickly check if it has. Like it doesn't. I mean, the good thing about this bot is that they allow for uh, what's default? That was default. What do you guys become? Which page? I answered that already, Akuro. Oh. Wait, I see what's default now. Ted, you tell me if this is good. Oh, but I can tell when this is not going to be good. Are you guys seeing something? Eh? 
There you go. Looks better. You know when it will not look better? It will not look better here. I think it might. Actually, it could. You know why? I just removed this. Hey, yo! Pet has been instantly upgraded live on stream. That's insane. Okay. After four years, the chat looks different. Wait, YouTube! You should be able to be there as well. You need to pay for this upgrade. <laughs> Alright, evolution, I guess. You know what? The future of AK screens might also make do without that little thing. So y'all are gonna see what? More background? Less brown? More background? Oh? Is that a better change for you? Hey, wait, my YouTube is not being shown. <gasps> oh no. Guys, I am... My YouTube is not getting love again. I swear this widget weirds weird sometime. Oh shit. Okay, fuck it, fuck it. I think at least this chat thing is better now. So I'll, I'll fix it the next time. Okay, where are we? Don't worry, YouTube, I'll still read you if you ask me anything. I read my chat all the time. Okay. Let's continue. I have nothing to show. Oh, I have something I need to do. But let's do it later. Let's do it as the last thing we do after Luofu, which is Simulated Universe. So, again, you want to see my progress? Level 51, that's where I am. Um, in terms of SU, I think I hit World 5. Yeah, I hit World 5. I haven't hit World 6 yet. Why not separate the YouTube and Twitch chat? I might, I might. And then... In terms of building my units, everyone who comes in this stream is still going to ask me, you running a, a damage comp? Where healer? Healer don't have? Which my answer and my reply is, I can't heal. I have nothing. I'm fucking dry. I cannot build. Yeah, I have Pailu, but she's level 40. I am gone. And I'm about to run out of money. So, y'all gotta wait. For, for, my, for my team to finally have a healer. But yeah, they're level 70 now. Um, their light cones are also level 70 already. And their tracers are reaching the 8th tier. Uh, that's the next thing I have to do. Uh, their red legs are doing whatever it is. So, yes. I mean, that's why we told you to build early. But, yeah, I can't do much for now. I mean, I, I, I'm still running okay with this squad. So, yeah. Um, What else is there that I have to show? I don't think there's anything else that y'all need to see. I don't know. How else y'all want to know my progress? Oh, yeah. How long have I played the game since my account reached level 51? I had the 30-day medal 3-4 days ago. So I think that means I've only played for like 35 days. So yeah. I am tempted to wail. I did it- wait. My reverse viewers don't know this, but I did wail. I wailed the battle pass because it tempted me. And I'm thinking whether to wail this battle pass. Because I'm getting tempted as well. Like, yo, building materials. I started the game late. Why not get it? So, it's in my mind. And then, what was the last thing? Ah, this is what I want to do before I start today. I said this. I want sparkle. Sparkle spam skill points. Skill points good. I don't care if she's evil. I don't care if she's bad. I'm not going to fix her. 
You fix her. But she will fix me because she gives me skill points. And therefore, I do tempo. Nope. I got a new card. What card is that? Good night and sleep well. Ooh, okay. Wait. So this is also a question I have. It's okay to buy this, right? You all clock up on this all the time. So I'm just gonna buy it. Then, do you all buy this? Depends. Is it because you save for characters? Y'all save for this, is it? Save for weapon. Oh, because the five stars? I see. Okay, then you know what? Wait, I need 800 Stellar Jades. Where am I going to get 800 Stellar Jades? Nice. Chat, has there been a code? Was there a, was there a code recently blasted out? Did you guys seriously just say it? My credit card. I cannot believe it. Did you really say my credit card? Okay, fine. How much is the battle pass? Let me learn the prices of this game. I'm not gonna get the sample profile. Oh, it's pricey. Nah, we're just gonna take get the top one. Is this in my country's currency? I guess it's fine if it's in my country's currency. Okay. I do a I do a small whale. Let me get another 10 pools. And like the battle pass is done, so oh well. Chat, now you know, now you remember. Okay, I spent I actually spent money on this game. I am not free to play. Oh my God. Fucking flashbang. It's so bright. It's too bright. What the frick? The brightness set two hundred percent. I did it! Chat! I did it! I fucking will! Okay, so I get to swim in resources by doing this. I might not buy the battle pass all the time. I want to do it now just because then I can build certain units faster. I don't know. Why is the Ting Yun one the good one? Or why is the last one the good one? Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you guys who I'll play, okay? I'll play Trailblazer. Wait, wait, hold on. Trailblazer. Sampo. Xing Chue. Sparkle. Himeko. Ratio. Black Swan. Whoever the next 5 star I get is. Those are you might eat. This is good for. So this is good for, uh, Himeko. Is it? This is Himeko, and then who is this? Wait. So you guys are saying of the eight classes, this in the erudition branch is probably the best one. 
So you're saying this is more worth, is it? And you're saying the Harmony has a better one out there. I see. Okay, then you know what? Yeah, I listen to you, chat. One day I should watch, like... I should be like a guide viewer as well, you know. You know, in my entire history of AK, I watch guides. Uh, sorry, I don't watch guides, sorry. I make guides, I teach you how to play. But yet, I'm starting HSR one year late now. So you know what that makes me? I'm a viewer now. <laughs> Alright, I'll take erudition. So I got self-modeling with Ethan. What's Tears of Dream? Tracks of Destiny. Oh, they have, there's pools. Okay, nice. Relics. That's a lot of credit. Whoa. That's a lot of credit. Okay. Fuel. Traveler's Guide. Nice. Refined Edder. Nice. What's Lost Crystal? Oh. One of those times where the camera blocks the thing. Wait. It's as if I'm promoting the battle pass. That's rude. Guys, don't gamble, okay? Don't overspend. Protect your money. You don't need 1 million credit. I repeat, you don't need 1 million credit. Alright, you, you can play the game free to play. Believe me. Gears of Dreams are currencies to use to get upgrade materials. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alright, thank you. Oh, so this is if you regret it and then you need to spend. Wow, okay. Uh, the, I don't know where is my sparkle actually. Let's see my records. My PT is 30. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. My PT is 30. And what, guarantee is 70? You know what? Nah, nah, nah. You know my stream. You, you saw my video. I don't need pity. We get it now. Now. Yeah. Just, just win. Easy. Is that it? Nope. Three, four stars? One. What if I'm just not lucky for my own account? What if the twist of HSR is that I'm going to win all my viewer pools but my own? Unlike the Ark Knights. Where else can I grab the... I, I get that you all want to save for cards, but I'm okay to spill a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's break a, a small amount of this. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I think this is the one. This is the one. It's not the one! Ah! Oh! How many four stars? Two. Okay. What card is this? Shared feeling. Increase wearer's outgoing healing. Oh! Could be good. So... Yeah, I'm in pity territory. Soon. I'll need to find the pools. How much their monthly in this game? What what does the monthly give you? Store. Purchase to obtain 300. Daily rewards 90 per day. Ooh. What's an Oniaric shot? What's an Oniaric Shard? It's paid currency to trade for pools. Oh. So is it the same as the crystal? Like, is it the same as this? Oh. So one for one. Like 300 trades for 300. Oh dear. What the heck? Wait! The price of a 10 pool in this game is 40? Hello? It's 40? What the heck? 
Wait. That's crazy. Oh my god. I didn't... Wait. When people said that Hoyoverse was predatory, I didn't think that's the meaning of that. Okay. Just do the quest, I'll get a lot from events. Yeah, you know what? Let's reward ourselves the character that I want at the end. Wait. Pity between standard and limited. Is it shared? So pity between this and this. No. Okay, I'm just pulling for fun. What if I get a 5 here? It would have been crazy. No, I got a 1. 1 4 star. Okay. We'll go, the next time we get a 10 by the end of the stream, we'll, we'll pull again. And I think I haven't collected my Trailblaze rewards. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Lawfu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Sienjou natives into long life species. The and buy the, the end, one on the shop. The alchemists grew discontented oh, and began to do obsess that? over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it, the more they longed for it. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? Three five per month. Okay. You imagine Fushen was waiting for me for over 20 minutes while I was gachaing in real time? No! Fu Xuan has been waiting for me for one week. She's been standing there for a week. Every time I farm my stuff, I run around her. Runway is still at the space station standing still. What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. Why not play in JPVA? When I'm playing story, we play Ian. Next time, when I have no more story, we play JP for me to experience. English is good so that I don't have to read and I can listen. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the crucibles never ceases, this place was named Eve Mist Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mora struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Sorry, Indonesians, but do you know what this reminds me of? Haze. I can't wait for Haze to come back to Singapore again this year. I'm joking. Please don't send Haze to us ever again. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. You see, in, in Singapore, we have Moreover, two weathers. No, oh, sorry. No we have three weathers. Their comrade was about to be stricken with Sun, Rain, and Haze. Is there anything and better haze. than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knight's first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop. Yeah, and Hayes weather is caught because of trees burning in neighboring countries. No, it's not foggy. Hayes smells like smoke. You are permanently smoked for a few days. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. This smoke can't affect us? Indeed. This demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. That's crazy. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the La Fu. And the Sien Zhou Alliance has always been fiercely independent. 
The disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? Oh, so the unexpected guest was an ass. It's the Sanctus Medicus. I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions oh, is it the of the Hunters were more it's accurate one of them. than mine. I'm, I'm guessing the now they're trying to say it was Sanctus Medicus all along. Reality. One step at a time. Um, is this the only way? Rather, only this way leads to the known best result. If we can afford to choose, then none would choose to leap off a cliff. Besides, this is not my decision alone. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the Lafu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the elixir crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? <sighs> Fine. What say you is such a please, but rare for you to hear. We do kind of have superpowers around here. Mr. Yang, what do you think? How dare you ignore me? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. All right. Let's go, poison huh. mist. I feel like even though long life species get to live forever, they aren't so different from us short life species when it This looks like a battleground, like a street up. Many mini bosses are about to happen. Let me go! Bring it down! Thank you. Wait, Miss Ting Yoon! Why are you still here? You're too close to the crucible! Thank you for the concern, but I'm fine. The general commanded me to stay with you. I dare I not go you? against military Can orders. I ignore you? Your life is more important, Miss Tingyun. Go back. We can explain to the general. <laughs> there is really no need. I've spent my years traveling Bro, the universe. Bro, I am. Not to mention, am I to investigate you? Stronger than I look. Oh, I'm supposed to activate it. Seems like the smoke is getting thinner. Wait, 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 don't be angry, don't be angry. Uh, to turn it off! Why did you turn it on? It was already turned off. Okay. Your answers? Rules are made to be broken. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its Man. desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Ill fate is dead. I had a gun and I ran straight. Clearly, I'm not gonna be safe in dangerous situations. Yes, I'm staying physical MC because I want I want the physical attribute. What do you want to know? Uh. Oh, they hit really hard. My Just my flipping my, my flipping guy is nearly dead. Never mind. I I'll be able to find the next healing station. Oh, wait, we still haven't doused the burners. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Turn off three small elixir crucibles. Was there one more I didn't see? What was that? I missed one. Oh. Oh, it's right there. Mind your manners. Oh. SAS Pekibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Man. Memories are ever changed. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. I'm feeling the need for a healer now. Wait, no, 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 chat. I cannot show you my weakness. I don't need a healer. This is our chance. Yeah. Time for an overhaul. Rules 
are made to be broken. We shouldn't die. I'm asking questions. Those doggos can bite. <laughs> Let's go. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't know that you can see as its desire to control that. I don't think I'm gonna do well with the boss of this stage. Like maybe I won't complete Wofu. Alright, wait, we can do this. Get past him. Yeah! Oh, I sh Okay, I get the trick now. Don't slow walk. Just run. He won't wake up. Ah. Uh... Yay, we did it! I uh, can't see the smoke anymore. <sighs> Excellent. I'll lead my troops to the rendezvous. Bye. Ah, strats, strats. What was Bye. Who this? So, you succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. Unimportant. The inevitable is already. If upon evil, why hot? Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity as chief alchemist, master diviner. Oh, she's the cat. She's... she changed! She's not... wait, is she still blind? I don't know. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus the one who me. must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron spirits into the Sienjo. Resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor. Striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long life species. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the stellar seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become a celestial and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended nine? onto all nine Sanjo ships. What a glorious time that was. Is Wofu just one of the nine ships? Or are you referring to the different maps? Oh. How far the Sanjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now... We now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our Sienjo ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter, laid waste to the Arbor, and established the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sea and Joe. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death. Your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. I need to wrap my head around this for a little while, yeah. I'm a bit confused. So, 
The Sanctus Medicus is upset because they are given a life of abundance out of their free will and they don't like that. Is that it? And then they decided because of that, I want to give it to the humans so that they also can get abundance and you know feel what is it like to have abundance. I'm a bit confused. I don't understand what is the goal of the the clan. They see Sientro being weak following the hunt. They sell illegal drugs. They see the abundance gifts as a blessing rather than a curse like the rest, rest of Sientro sees it as a curse. Oh. Ah, you guys did mention before that this entire storyline is about two gods fighting. So one god goes with abundance, which means immortality. Whereas the second god goes with hunt. What is hunt again? Is that hunt more about killing? What's the goal of hunt? Just hunt down whatever you hate. Abolish all abomination. So you don't... It's not bloodbath, but you kill the people you think deserve to be killed. So it's like it's like target targeting the people you who you think don't deserve a place. And hunt and abundance are in a fight because hunt thinks abundance doesn't have a place. Is that it? Hunt is like destruction but more civilized. Hunt literally ascended to kill abundance in the law. I see. So Basically, this evil Sanctus Medicus is just like the followers of Abundance. And since they don't like the supporters of Lan, the Aeon of the Hunt, so they fight against Yentro because of that. I see. Okay. Wow, quite, quite a religious storyline, no? Or an ideological storyline. Master Diviner! Allow me to show you what the celestials were capable of. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate is said. Let's make it quick. Yeah. I'm going to get a lot of damage. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. He won't get away. Other should kill you. Ah, <gasps> it does not kill you. SAS pick knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Ah. Uh, uh. This can go so wrong! Okay, so he didn't kill anyone. She, all she did was lower the max HP. Good, for now. We gotta kill the side guys first. Still don't humanity know that it has its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <gasps> Get that close! I should just kill him first. Ah. Uh. I have a feeling this this fight is not scripted and that I have to kill her. Rules are made to be broken. I have something for you. 
You're not gonna get an ultimate. Holy crap, her damage over time is annoying. Holy crap, she's annoying. Wow. Wow, okay. I need to think this through. How do I want to deal with that? This squad is not going to be anywhere close to defeating it. Is that the dragon child? <sighs> Wanna build Bailu? Would that really make a difference? Actually, what are her abilities? Or what, what's her weakness, rather? Sorry, let me run past you again. I want to check her... Her... Her stats. Wait, I don't... You succeeded. I don't mean to do this again. Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the so Retreat. Bless Does she have lightning? She has lightning. But Pailu isn't a very strong lightning dealer though. Because her her only ability that has attack on the enemy is this. Wait, actually the good thing about Pailu is that she... I remember you guys saying he could resurrect. How does that work? Is it this? After an ally with invigoration is hit. But they need invigoration, right? Oh, it's in her trace. It's in this? Invigoration can trigger one more time. It's her talent. It's the second so so I was reading the correct thing. Yeah, when the ally receives a killing blow, but it doesn't matter that the ally has the invigoration effect, right? So when they receive a killing blow, they will won't be knocked down. Pailu immediately saves them by healing them. Ah! This effect can be triggered one time per battle, but I assume. There must be something that lets it trigger one more time? No. There isn't. It's just one. Oh, it's in Adelon. Oh. She can only save one person. What is Natasha's... Natasha is physical. I was even thinking would much make sense because much could have shield, but I think Nah. Don't build Natasha. <laughs> or Lynx. I have Lynx, don't I? I vaguely remember. Oh I don't have Lynx. Ah <sighs> Okay, maybe it's time. Maybe it is. Chat with dip. I give in. I give in. I cannot see. I I cannot logically think of a solution to pass it with the four people in front. I need to farm. We'll Ms. wait. Yumiko, with your... Care to test your skills? Pray. Yes, pull half. What do you mean by pull half? You won't get away. The redemption. Judgment is here. Who's HP is low? You mean by whose HP is low? Yeah. Is that boss? 
usually where people stall in the game. Or like where people might get stuck in the game. I was a bit stubborn in not building her together as a team. I mean I was because I don't see the point where I need it. I was waiting till I, I can see it. By the time we got there, we were filled. And actually, Wofu, did Wofu appear when the game first released? Oh. But it was in 1.2. Oh. Rules. If you want to play a bit more relaxed, we recommend looking for at least one limited 5 star sustain. You can get around without any limited sustain, but it's way harder. Right. I think the deer boss boss was fine. So I guess you guys had time to build your units because y'all were already building a good roster. We'll have to wait. I need to get my materials. By the way, why is everyone so into Archeron? I don't know who Archeron is. I've been seeing that person's name. Is Archeron a girl or a guy? It sounds like a guy. Oh, I will witness Archeron in Pentaconi. It's a girl. Woman. <laughs> My healing skills are second to none. Okay. Oh, I'm going to be ah oh, farming in this game, bro. Should I be taking this or should I be taking this? Which one might be better? When using skill, we generate 2.0 energy for all allies. At the start of the virus turn, we generate 8 energy for a random ally. So this one says 2 for all allies, but this one says 8 for a chosen ally. I feel like both are the same though. Outgoing is better? Okay, I guess this one might be better since there is a increase in healing. Okay, fine. We'll go with this one then. Oh, she uses Wofu materials. Oh crap, you're using my cards. By the way, I don't like how when you use the 4 star below, right? They, they prioritize the cards before the 4 star regular material. I mean, once you get late game, you will probably never use 3 star cards. So I get that they do that, but... um, Oh wells. What's this? Have I ever farmed this? I did. I never level like home beside 5 stars. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have 5 stars. So I have no choice. I have to fall back. The resource is hard to get. I think in the early game it's fine. You know, I'm, it's like, I'm not going to pull for 5 star light cones anytime soon, uh, or neither am I going to get it somewhere, so this is an okay move to do. Okay, uh, we'll switch to this card. Well, I have to work on the traces as well. Wait, I'm so low of everything. I'm in so much trouble. Chat, you have- Wait, we might as well just go side questing at this point. If I need to build a Pailu. I- I literally need to stall because I cannot get moving. Just farm while we're talking, yeah, I'll just talk while, while we're, we're doing this. Okay, wait, let's- let's see. 
let's get things one by one. So I don't think a level 60 Pailu is going to even work when we're, we're fighting in there. Wait, I really don't have a better gear than this? Okay, I guess that's the best it can go. Um, let's see. Let's focus on getting this material first. Oh, you think level 60 is fine? In that case, then the traces are more important. That means I have to farm this. Oh, should I just do simulated universe first then? Since I said I was going to do it at the end of Lawful. Since it's going to drop the materials. Yeah, let's do this. By the way, do you have a quest for me, Hurta? I have some new points of confusion. Hmm? About the swamp disaster. Oh, no. Okay, I don't have a question. Okay, thank you. Okay. World 6, difficulty 1. Well, there's the ball. I need the ball. Oh, yes, variety of materials. Okay. Recommended team, level 60. Can I run without medics again? With no healer again? You know what? It... It could be possible. Fine. Yeah, because I mean, I could just run a path, right? I can run a path and I don't need a healer. Okay. Let's just run a path for now. Increase character's HP recovery. Increase chance for blessing of abundance to appear. I have never played abundance anyways. So let's learn a new path. And then we'll learn Pailu afterwards. Uh... I kind of have been picking Obtain a Curial. Usually. You obtain 50 Cosmic Fragment every time you enter a domain. If the Fragment exceeds 500, the Curial gets destroyed. After this... No. After entering a new domain... Oh no, let's get the middle one. Get the Gacha? I mean... I played the Gacha before, but I've never... got anything. We can get the gacha later. I I've never collected that. I'll, I'll get the yeah for for the index. You won't get away. I don't have heals. Yeah, I'm running abundance. I'm asking questions. For now. Uh. Why do you keep saying get the jade? What jade? Wait, like stellar jade? What what jade? After a character provides healing, upon entering battle, characters restore HP. Technically, none of these works for me though. Oh, 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 for. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Wait, I am going for the abundance path anyway, so I need, I need their stuff so that I can get the ultimate ability. Your answers? Ill tidings master, let's go. Ha! I have something for you. He should die. Increase crit rate after a character inflicts weakness break on an enemy, restores HP. Sure. Let's try to let's try to go for a sustain route. So since we're running no healing, we we get all the cards that gives us healing. And then we'll see if that means we'll last out the battle. Is the YouTube chat not working? Yes, the YouTube chat is I'm slightly not questions. working. I'm reading it, but it's not showing up on the screen. As in, it's not showing up when you're watching. Destiny is apparent. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Time for an overhaul. <sighs> okay. Okay, no cards for now. Although there's a restoration here. Let's get the restoration. Okay, I'm not even gonna buff attack. 
I'm just gonna go pure HP and shields this time. Cause I've been going for speed, I've been going for attack. Let's do a run where it's just HP. Your answers? Oh, just when I should be using your ability. You get away. Never mind. Your ability is used. What do you want? Ill tidings manifest. Let's make it quick. Yeah. You won't get away. Instant kill. The stall strat, yeah. Gain a six percent damage over time for each nihility blessing. When a character are hit or have lost HP, four energy is regenerated. Increases the damage taken by frozen enemies, the middle one. Upon entering battle, characters gain a shield equal to the 36% of the HP difference. When a character's HP is lower than 50%, deals increased damage. After six turns conducted by the allies, the current character's action has moved forward. I mean the HP is gonna be very high, so the last one doesn't make sense, even though it's for my index. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the one on the left. Combat current combat. Kukole gets stronger with each turn. I'm asking questions. Oh, I've, I don't remember that being her mechanic. Good to know. <laughs> you won't get away. I have something for you. GG. Increase crit damage and a character turns advance forward or character's break effect goes higher. Character's break effect goes higher. We need a strategy. Okay. Uh. Make use away. this. Burn away. Use this. And let's go. Huh. Memories are ever beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. I'm gonna Say spam yes. out. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Rules are made to be broken. One thing about the auto attack in this game is how they don't really conserve your health. So they always use it in some of the weirdest times. Which is also the reason why I'm just holding all my outs until we reach the elite boss. Okay, I should be able to break it. You won't get away. Oh no way! Oh you cover so fast! Your answers. Hit her again. Nice. Destiny isn't chosen. Oh your move got advanced forward. Okay, nice. Might be good! No! Decent. There you go. GG. When a character turn begins, gain a critical boost. Charges dew drop. What is dew drop? An effect that can be charged up formed by specific blessings of abundance. The charge cannot exceed 500% of the character's max HP. Dew drops ruptures after the character attacks, dealing additional damage. Charges dew drop at the beginning of the character's turn. The charge value is equal to 60% of their HP. So it's like extra HP? Is what I'm understanding? Oh no, it's not a HP. It's a damage boost that is related to the HP. I see. Charges do drop when when the character's HP is restored. The charge value is 100%. No, then the, the middle one makes the most sense. 
Spend 100 points to use this ability and resonate with the Path of Abundance. Restore... That's what you mean by free heal! Oh, Okay, that's cool. Randomly gain a Blessing of Elation. Replaces all Curios. When choosing a Blessing, they will be 3 star. Yeah, let's get a 3 star. Could I? In increase defense, increase crit rate. Oh! Oh! That looks like... That looks like it's for ratio. This looks... This is a ratio... Relic, no? Crap. But you guys are saying don't do now? Just because it's level 1? Okay. Oh, I destroyed the machine. Too bad. Uh... Destroying it destroys the fragment with it? I thought it just broke the curio, not my fragments! I misread it! I thought it was just a fucking ah! I half read it. Yeah, I bro, I've been scammed. I've been reminded of a a certain YouTuber. Yeah. I'm asking questions. Ill fate is dead. This is our chance. Explode, please. Oh, you can't die. Just a scratch. I feel like I should just use the ultimate <laughs> to finish it off fast. Oh, they're healing anyway, so it's fine. When a character provides healing, that doesn't include the ultimate, right? Allies other than the healed target also gains 30% of the outgoing healing. After a character launches an attack, deals quick damage. When a character are hit or are losing HP, gain fighting spirit. But this is equivalent to shield. Oh shit. Aeon ability counts? Okay, then I guess that's fine. No, they, they all don't seem very helpful. I guess only the middle one is helpful. Destiny. Ill fate is dead. You won't get away. This is our chance. Go for kill piece. Nice. If you explode that guy, the guy in the middle will die. Okay. When being healed by an ally, characters restore extra HP. Is the Aeon counter as an ally? When the enemy is attacked while under any damage over time, a random damage over time will be triggered. Spam? Don't think? Really? I don't think all abundance are gonna help me though. I think there's gonna be bound to be a time where it's not as effective as something else. But I get why. You're, you're asking I should go for the level 6 upgrade, right? The one where once I have 6 pieces of it, or wait until I get the the card that says for the number of abundance I have increase something. You won't get away. This is our chance. Oh, I can't. Are, are you taunted? No. What do you want to know? Oh, you you were shielded. Okay. You won't get away. Okay. 
After a character's heal increase their defense, that's nice. After a character provides healing, there is a 30% fixed chance to recover a skill point. The the left one will happen more often, so I'll take the left one. After releasing a path resonance, removes character's debuff and apply one stack of subduing evils. Can consume one stack to resist a debuff once, then restore HP equal to 10% of the character's max HP. This state can stack up to 5 times. When a character receives lethal damage, the resonance of Path of Abundance prevents them from being knocked down and automatically consumes all energy to release Path Resonance. After Path Resonance is consumed for the first time in a battle, for the use of Path Resonance, the Path Resonance will, for Abundance will appear on the action order. The outgoing healing provided by this resonance decreases by 30%. When this resonance takes actions, it will automatically release path resonance to heal allies. This is a permanent healer on the first one, right? But the thing that it will heal less, but it will be automated. I'll take the one on the left. I'll take the one on the left. I think that's nicer. I need to remove debuff. Does our final boss have, boss have a debuff? I mean, both ways are fine, in my opinion. Wait, hold on. When doing a path of something, I noticed one of you guys said, take one and then take the other first. Is there a level 9? Have I been playing simulated universe without realizing there's a level 9 upgrade? I feel like I've always been one off, and so I didn't know there was a level 9. Oh my god, I never knew. Today I learned that there's a level 9. That's crazy. <laughs> Oops, thanks for teaching me, chat. Uh, let's go on. Take first one then. Encounter... No, encounter. Okay, which one is this? Win in four cycles. With an abundance? With an abundance path? Need I teach someone a lesson? SAS per kippy. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. You still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The hewer bonus damage? I mean, I can just turn it on now. I don't see a problem with it. Rules are made to be broken. Zero points. Memories are at beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Test. You won't get away. Okay. Destiny is apparent. Uh. Yeah. Time for an overhaul. Three cycles left. Zero points. So he's gonna. Sh the healing will happen now. What do you want to know? Okay. Ill tidings manifest. Ill fate descends. I have something for you. Your answers? A test. Who turns left? What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use your ability, and then I'm going to use your ultimate. And then I'm going to use... Oh crap, I missed the mark. I'm supposed to use Himeko's ultimate so that I prevented that. Destiny 
destiny is apparent. Uh. Wait. I made it, right? I made it. I did it. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't have to wait, as in I just didn't bother to press. Okay, that was good. When a character deals damage to an enemy of follow-up attack, damage with this follow-up attack increase. Increase damage by there. No, take the middle one. After a character launches a follow-up attack, there's a chance to recover skill point. Okay, that one's really big. After a character inflicts weakness break, delays the enemy's action. This pairs well. Both of these are nice. But I like skill points increasing, so I'm gonna take the middle one. I can reset? I know I can reset. Do I need to reset? Reset for gold? Yeah, but this is really good for ratio. I think I can do the resets later. There's still more battles. I'll just take this one first, because I like this one. Foreboding sign. Burn away. Make a wish. You won't get away. Memories are ever beneath the water lies an endless. Abyss. I think before I get all the encounter note after sec lesson. second elite, oh, that'll be just unlucky. Rules are made to be broken. Let's go. Himeko hasn't popped up yet. Ow. Oh, two people got frozen. Wow. Time for Oh shit. You could have used your out your your skill. I got mistaken because I thought it was a uh... thought it was trailblazer stuff. You won't get away. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. I should be fine. I have something for you. I should be fine. Sorry, not fine. Memories are e beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Perhaps you still don't see anything that conceals its desire to control the heavens. Heal me! Thank you. Oh wow, the healing is huge! What the heck? Getting my skill point back. I'm asking questions. I am really going to stall the boss. Oh! Why do you freeze now? Never mind. Rules are made to be broken. So if I have a cleanse day, it would have been sweet, SAS wouldn't it? Yes, perkipping knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Ill tidings men. Memories are beneath the water. I can put an auto and go make a cup of ramen. Wait, 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 let's get the debuff one. Maybe I can auto after it. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't hear anything that conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. This is our chance. I'll test it in the later, later maps. Yeah. This isn't gonna do anything. Test. This boss has so much HP! This is what happens when you don't have attack! It just takes so long to kill. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate is there! Your answers 
Screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Let the thing do itself. This is addictive though. Just to see the whole team do their own thing. I think I need to find more abundance uh, cards that increases damage. If they are. Wait, resetting here makes sense, right? Because they will be 3 star. Right? Reset. Charges do drop when the character's HP is restored. The charge value, so that's the one that I was missing just now. Okay. Randomly gain 1 to 3 blessings from the car for the current path. After obtaining this curio, immediately gains cosmic fragment equal to 50% of the cosmic fragment. Randomly gain one blessing on the hunt. Let's take the middle one. How many blessings will you give me? I use my gacha luck for this? Huh? Yeah, that's a mega jackpot. I didn't even get one, I got three. After a character is healed, increases the speed. When a character's HP is full, increases the charging efficiency for deal drop. After launching attacks, characters deal additional damage equal to 36% of their current HP. This one's the big important one. Wait, I thought you guys said I can improve my path. Or am I not at the point of the game where they let me? Because I'm pretty certain I would have passed level 9. One more? Oh, I must battle to do it? So it's because of the Curio, is it? So they, they don't trigger the Aeon upgrade since I got it via Curio. I need to unlock it in the tree. Oh, I get what you mean now. You're saying... Is my ability tree not done out enough? But it's... Oh, I don't have it! I just don't have it! <laughs> Too bad. It's this one. Too bad. Yeah, no cleanse. What, GG? We're over? Run in, game in. Huh. Yes, hi, how are you? I can finally spend on you. Enhance two random blessings. I mean, there's a high chance it will be an abundance blessing, so go for it. Big! Yes, more damage. What's next? Break effect goes up. Not complaining, break effect goes up. Nice. Heroes for Jades. Oh. It's fine. I mean, that, that can happen anytime. Hi. Wow, who is this? I've never seen this. Three timid sequence creatures that resemble a pig bump into you as you wander across the wilderness with the Hifredan people dwell. Wait, sorry, where the Hifredan people dwell. They react differently to your presence. One is trembling, one is ready to flee, and one is in a combat position. You remember the description written in the Inter-Astral Peace Guide? The creatures are called Sequence Trotters, and they are translatitudinal organisms. They spend most of the time living they spend most time of their lives eating and escaping. Running into a sequence trotter is an auspicious sign. You start to think of a way to deal with them. The rules of the game must be fixed according to the personality of each trotter. You're entering a room with three trotters. Be mindful, they don't run away. 
a person shouldn't be on the same level as Trotters. I don't know what it is, just 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 do it. I'm asking questions. You're not letting me destroy you. The one in the middle. I think the one on the right has the best chance. Answer me. Zero points. Ill fate descends. Let's make it quick. You're locked up. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> uh. I have something for you. I can only get one. <laughs> Wait, if I kill all three, I get three blessings? That's the point? Restore HP to the character equal to 20% of the charge value when due, due drop rushes. Oh, that's good. Increase incoming healing. Uh, the middle one. Transaction or occurrence? I mean, I don't have a lot of curios. Sorry, I don't have a lot of fragments to spend, so... Occurrence. Huh. What's new? Oh, there is something new again! I've never seen you before! What are you? You have never seen a library as opulent as this. Without a roof, it is enveloped by the boundless starry sky. The sacred light from the firmament shines on the books scattered on the stairs. You open a random one to find the pages filled with patchy color black block coats. Hey nosy kid, don't touch my books. An elderly man with white hair reprimands you. As he approaches, you notice his wrinkled and bloated skin. What you're holding is the history of the kingdom of New Londinium. My proudest work. Is that stainless being in this game? <laughs> I, I heard stainless Ian voice line as I read that. You made up history? History fictionologists only amend history. More often than not, you can simply change the order of the subjects in a sentence. That was how easily the history of the Kingdom of New Londinium was changed, he answered. I've been living at the Starry Library for 10 Ember Eras all by myself, the history fictionologist paces. I concoct paradoxes, fallacies, and statements that are contradictory and vague. What kind of superfluous actions have you done? For instance, the modern Bavarous inhabitants think that their gobbling sound is an expression of joy. Well, I'm sorry to say this sound is actually a vulgar term. I've given the sound of a positive meaning, which is quite a brilliant move. Why do you do that? It's because we're believers of the Aeon of Enigmata. He stays silent in a deep thought for a moment. If the universe is no longer shrouded in mysteries, then everyone will detect the determined state of their destinies. A choice they think they make through free will is actually prearranged for that particular moment. Prove it to me. I'll prove it to you. All I have to do is to make some changes to your past. Suddenly, his eyes are tinged with despondence. Despondence. You must genuinely forget about your past to pretend that you know nothing about your future. My three stars are the Jew drops. When the character provides healing, no. This one is not good to buff. I guess these two are nice because it means more damage. 
These are all healing. Whereas the one star... I mean, yeah, we'll mix with... Okay, fine. Three, three star. We'll do the three star. Hopefully it's the dew drop one. Oh, it is... Increases the damage of dew drop by 40%. Okay. It's done. If you notice any contradictions beyond the simulated world created by codes, don't doubt them, as they are all my brilliant touches. Remember, I'm not simulated. Okay, that's weird. That's like a fourth wall statement. Okay, can I defeat the boss? Let's see. Alright. I can't enhance a lot. There's no money. Increase the speed. Increase their defense. Restore HP. Restore HP. When the character is hit, restore energy. I'll take this one. I'll get the speed. Time to get frozen? Yeah, I have no choice. Make a wish. Burn away. Chat. I'm gonna go for it. Bye, I'm going to toilet. If I die, I die. Rules are made to be broken. Ill tidings Zero points. Freeze to death. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Test. Zero points. You are doomed to fail. Ill tidings manifest. Yeah. Where my head goes to the toilet. So all I hear is bang, 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 boom, 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 boom. Wait, why is my resonance not getting triggered? Huh? Wait. Game dumb? Auto dumb? Didn't want to trigger? Huh? AI say you're not dying. No heal for you. Does she have three phases? Triple phase boss? Oh! Why is Bronya there? Wait, what? Wait, can I even let the auto do his thing now? Otto, can you be smart? Trigger! Trigger! Heal! Heal! Yeah! Oh my god, that hurts. Tremble before my power. A world devoured by ice. Stop in the, the sword again! Rules. That's not fair! Zero points. Wait! She got 
got three phases. What's her third phase? Two Bronyas? Wait, you're saying the Bonya can carry over to the third phase? If I didn't kill her, <laughs> okay. That would be funny. Third phase Bonya plus Trophilia would be. It would. Can I subway surface and stop cutting on screen? For wait, subway surface and soap cutting on screen. You mean wait? I could. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, she's alone. Witness the avalanche. Test. Zero points. Knowledge. Swan is dead. Swan is dead. Wait, 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 wait. Swan is dead. 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 She's dead. She's dead. Let's make it quick. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Press Z? Why? What, what, what do you want me to read? Hell, she's just stronger. Yeah. I have something for you. Rules are made to be broken. Don't freeze me! Please! Mom! Mom! You are doomed to fail! A world devoured by ice! Just a scratch! This will be your best scratch! The eternal freeze will bury you! Wait, you know what you mean I can tr No I can't. This is defeat. I can just come back to this world again to try it. Guess you can't auto. Or maybe I just needed the resonance. Oh if I out F4. Ooh, that's a way. Wait, I could just try it again now that I finally have the upgrade you all wanted to see. Okay, simulated universe the starting cosmic fragments amount increase. Why would it? You get an extra blessing after winning a battle for the first time. Oh, two blessings. When you obtain 14 blessings... Wait, what? There is a... There's a 14 version of this? Consumables are usable. Oh, this one's crazy, I feel. This one, this one breaks simulated universe a bit. Like, you can cheat the system. I can do Luofu with my current Pailu. No, no, no. The issue is that my Pailu doesn't have the traces. So I, I played the simulated universe for fun. For, for the sake of the traces. I feel like I have an assignment. Hmm. As in, I feel like my assignment should be complete soon. What's my assignment again? Hmm. Oh, it's not. Oh, I started it today. Too bad. With passive and out, you think she'll heal enough? You guys are saying just just dip, go go straight for Luofu already, because your thing is fine. I mean, her light cone is full as well, right? Yeah, her light cone is full. I don't feel like increasing this because these are 3 stars. 
All right. Get sparkle. Wait, how's my pools? Not good. So I can't get sparkle now. King G is from SU. Uh, how many Gs does SU give again? We'll, we'll claim it later. We can care about the pools. I mean, I'm far off, right? I'm not even like anywhere close, so it's okay that I don't bother with it now. Change, change team, change team. Uh... I feel like Black Swan doesn't matter here. Food buff? Oh wait, but Black Swan would be have been good for the damage over time. What was that? Well, then maybe. Rest assured. Maybe you leave. Dear, I'll do all that I can to assist. Uh, yeah, I know I can do use the food buff. I've used food buff when I want to before. I don't like, I was very confused when I saw these two items because they mean the same thing, but all they did was they changed the word. It scrambled my brain for a minute when I saw this. The enemy has physical weakness, does it? Well, in that case... Physical Ice Lightning. Oh, I thought he had fire. I'm gonna go with uh, Black Swan being out. I'm counting on you to wrap this up, Himiko. So, you six Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the Celestials were capable of. This is our chance. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. I have something for you. Not bad. So you choose someone to heal, and then a second person is randomly healed. Okay. Wow, do you hit hard? Not bad. Five points. I'm asking questions. Let's make it quick. I have something for you. By loose out heals everyone. <laughs> Time to show you what is your prescription. Not bad. Five like, points. kind of small. I think it's just the problem of her level. I'm asking questions. I have something for you. <laughs> Merciful medicus. Rules are made to be broken. 
You won't get away. the measure of truth. No, enough health in general. She skills for HP. Yeah. I mean, she's not properly built since we rushed to build her, so that's the disadvantage that I have to eat up now. Let's go. Time for an overhaul. Does she, does she care to heal allies that have max HP? I'm gonna watch this because she has less HP and Ratio has less HP. But the other two seems to be full. So let me see. Not bad. She doesn't Five care. Points. Okay. So the second random target can be someone who's full, but she just heals. God. That hurts. Something for you. Oh my god, the damage is pain! I have to heal you, if not, you're gonna die. Your answers? Let's make it quick. Time for an overhaul. Oh, I have to make a choice because there's a chance that if I use Spilu's normal attack, it will cost, it will send a break. Oh no, 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 okay, hold on. If the normal attack causes a break, she gets her ultimate. I can heal everyone. Who's gonna get it? Oh. Let's go. I'm asking questions. I have something for you. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. I feel like someone's gonna die. Like Trailblazer might die. Perhaps you still can never see as its desire to control the heavens. Yeah, but there's a yes, there's there's a revive one chance revive that I haven't used yet. Oh wait, I think I can make it. I hope I'm not speaking too soon. I think I can make it. Can you kill? Ah! <laughs> I mean, I think we've won. 
I think we'll have won with or without the healing. Oh my god! <laughs> she doesn't have phase two now, right? SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Why? Why? She said. Oh, that was that was stressful. The ambrosial arbor's descent will bring us undying bodies. The one who gave us the Stellaron said that. Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly. Who? Little pawn, must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loathe to flout my philosophy of destruction. Never mind. It would seem the time has come for other means of She's evil! From within. She's evil! <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> Goodness. You received the gift of abundance. Oh, 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 Benefactors, the DLC came in the game. Myself. I am Lord Ravager Fantilia. Goodbye, Ting Yun. You did. Oh shit, I had full skill points. I should have just used. I'm dying! All of you! This is a formidable enemy. We have to stay together. You won't get away. You don't look so good. So close. Let's go. They bullied the hell out of the my, yeah. my, my healer. Rules are made to be broken. Faces. Measure of truth and falsehood. Let's make it quick. Huh. You won't get away. Free. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Zephro and Selenova never set their gaze upon the Sienjo. They have no qualms about doing our destruction by their own hands. But since that stubborn general of yours has forced me to take center stage, I'll make sure I steal the ship. <laughs> My apologies for leaving so soon. Your answers? 
I pray in the 40% that he counter attacks. Follow up, follow up. You won't get away. This is our chance. Still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Do I have to kill you? You you have a burn on you, don't you? That implies you have a burn. I think I don't have to kill you, right? SAS per kippy. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Let's make it quick. I think it's over. I think it's over. So this is perhaps you still don't have He was entangled. It's over. And I'm no exception. Wait, I must repeat the first fight again. Guys, I need to build Pailu. I lose in pain. Where am I going to get this? What's embers exchange? Oh no, don't do that. Wait. No, I'm gonna hit this is one thing. Hold on. I'm I'm thinking about this. Are there materials? in the in the shop like like this shop ready to squander the remaining only her terrier marks wait and i don't know if i should be running was he make all as worth that round would black swan have been better to Himeko. I'm trying to remember the number of fire I saw. I feel like there was more wind than there was fire. Oh, there's this here. By the way, can you buy out everything? So if you complete all quests, you, you diligently collect this. You can buy out everything, right? Then I think I shouldn't re like regret it. Just, just buy now. Hold on, I think I have way more money on the other, another map. The Yerilu map. Which one is it? No, it's in the underworld. This one? Here? Yeah. Ready to squander the that was a of your decent days. effort, I guess. But it relied on luck to get by. What else do I need? Oh, don't have anything else. Where's my loot? Oh, hi. What 
does this improve? That improves lightning damage. I don't need that. I think I need this. Improve heal. I need this side. I need these side of the traces. Which is the out? Is this the out? I guess it's the. Wait. Applies invigoration to allies who's not already invigorated. For those invigorated, Bailu extends the invigoration. And this effect triggers when the character receives a killing blow, they will not be down. Immediately heals. Oh, this is the talent. Heals a single ally for that amount. Bailu then heals two random allies. This improves the skill. Okay, so this, this is. What do you mean? It's written on top of the skill name. Yeah, Riz. What? Oh! I am blind! I read this! And not this! That is really funny! I read the word single target, restore, restore, and be like, Oh, I guess it's improving the healing! This is... Rough. Oh, this artifact is also very good. Invigoration can trigger one more time. What's the meaning of that? Can trigger one more time? So, three times? Oh. Oh. Heals them an extra time, is it? Or... Because isn't Invigoration a status? Wait, let me understand this invigoration thing. I'm getting a little lost. I should have done a Bailu trial so that I, I'm more aware of this. So, this one's easy to understand. This is the talent. Then, the invigoration happens on the out. So, applies invigoration to allies that are not invigorated. For those invigorated, extends the duration by one turn. Oh, I see. Wait, this skill's a little weird. Extend the duration by one turn. So, right now what they're saying is that the effect of invigoration can last for two turns, right? So if I use this, what am I triggering? I It's just, it becomes three turns, right? It's not double heal. Okay, understand now. So this assists this, basically. Okay, then I need this. Uh... Physical, physical, fire, fire. I mean, I can go back to a DPS comp. Rest assured, dear. I'll do and all that I can switch to you assist for you. Who's a fire unit? Oh, my friends still don't have a fire unit. I'll add more of you soon, but I haven't prioritized adding my friends yet. Never mind. Okay. This thing is very comfortable. What time will I stream until? Until I finish Luofu. There is no designated end time of this stream. We end when Luofu ends. Twenty-four hours stream. Wait, wait, chat. You're saying that's not the final boss. You're saying that Tanshu was not enough. Help. All right, chat. I think we're we're in, in we're in this for the long haul. Should I get food? <laughs> My brain still thought I can go for another two hours, but some of you are now saying this could last the whole day. One more after here, and two after two three hours for after story. Okay, no, I'm not gonna count after story. 
Because after story means after killing the final boss, right? Oh wait, no, but I had to finish the after story before I can enter the Panacony. So this, I guess, is important. If I was that. bigger, I this is important as well. Galaxy by now. Don't farm this conveniently. I just have to go monster to monster. Some iron get break. Oh, don't Rules. screw you! Why would you mention iron get break to me? You're making me crave something when I shouldn't have. Fuck. I don't get break in my country, isn't it? Very cheap, cheap to buy, per se. So. I don't know if I want that. calculations predicted. I know it's cheap in Indonesia, but it's not cheap in Singapore because in Singapore they count it as an Indonesian PC, so they sell it for extra price. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Nasi lemak, nasi lemak is the cheaper one, but there's no nas. There, there will be barely mas nasi lemak store open. Bro! How did I miss that? Gado Gado or Ketoprak? Oh, I don't know what those terms. What are those terms? They sound familiar. Gado Gado Ketoprak. They sound very familiar. Ketoprak sounds like a biscuit. Ketoprak sounds like... Like a... Like a... I even forget the name of the thing I'm thinking of. I'm a Singaporean? Yeah, I'm a Singaporean. You won't get away. Can I synthesize from lower rarity materials? I'm dry. Dry. Gosong. Zero. <laughs> even low rarity materials, two stars are gone. Gado Gado is a salad. Oh, I don't think I had that before. Maybe I'll have that when I go to Indonesia. Oh! Wait, should I mention this? I'll mention this when I do AK stream as well. Let me just make it early to tell you guys. Um, because we're two months away anyways. Indonesians, I'm going to visit you again. See you at AFA Indonesia. I'll give more details soon. Another precious. That reminded me that I was going to Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah, my, like my flight is booked already, so I will be there. You won't get away. Your answers? No. The measure of truth and falsehood. You can't afford AFA. I can feed you AFA. Nagashima. If you want me to. What's the ticket price for AFA? I actually don't know. I haven't bought the tickets yet. Am I gonna visit AFA or coming to No, AFA only. Because like, I visited Comic Pro last year. And I'm not gonna stay in Indonesia for two weeks. I'm only staying in Indonesia for a weekend. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Is it 30 SG for basic? That's the Singapore price. I don't know about the Indonesia price. I think for Comifo. I went to Comifo last year. Another precious memory to hold on to. Okay, so how's my mats doing after the short bit of farm? 
Can the HP increase? Wait a minute. I need to farm this again. God. Oh, I'm literally right there. No, 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 no. Let's use a attack. Yeah. Miss Himako. AFA Singapore has no schedule. This AFA Indonesia. Yeah, like I'm going AFA Indonesia because uh, they haven't had AFA in Indonesia for a very long time. And I was thinking of coming to Indonesia in May. Like, you know, come again since I went there end of last year. And I mean, I like Indonesia. At least it's not the best thing to say, but as compared to spending money in Singapore, it's nicer to spend money in Indonesia because prices are not as high. So, and especially, com like, I think one thing to note for any of you who's overseas and like, oh, should I go to Singapore to see that convention? If you're European or a American, I'll say, yeah, come over, experience our convention. Although I don't think it's as interesting as US. US still has the best convention hands down. But then if you're an Asian, I say, just go for your own country. Because the prices in Singapore are very high. Like when I went to Indo and I went to Komifu, it was, I was just, I went dry on cash. I was told by my, by, by, by my thumbnail makers, my editors, they said, you know, you bring a hundred SGD, it's more than enough. Because that's like, how much you spend in, in a, maybe three, it, you won't even spend that amount in the three, four days of living in Indonesia. So I brought that amount. But then when I went to the convention, I saw AFA merch, eh, sorry, not AFA merch, Arc Knights merch, shirt, badges, stickers, what else did I see? Keychains, drawings, and they were all good prices. So I just sp spam. I didn't walk the f convention fully, I was halfway into the convention, and I went up to my friend and I said, you still got money? I'm out. And then he said to me, I'm out too. Because we just, we, we, we would rather spend the cash in Indo as compared to freaking Singapore. Because Singapore, the price of a sticker for sometimes can be as ridiculous as $3 to $5. Whereas in Indo, it's like a dollar. Basically, there's a weird, definite weird global income disparity that is not fair. Like, for a Singaporean traveling to Indonesia, it looks really cheap. And then for an Indonesian traveling to Singapore, it looks really expensive. So yeah. Ah, oops, wrong person. Okay, can I synthesize you? Thank you. So increasing her HP would be big because it helps. And then increasing this will also be big. I'm not sure if this is as important. This this one in the middle. Like I think the the focus that we really need is this too. I guess I can chase for the HP again. Did I farm a tiny bit more? Let's at least get this up to 5 and then I think we can try again. Alright, one last farming. Uh, Argentine... go. Miss Himiko. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in AFA Indonesia. I'll give a bit more details, not on my stream, of course. Like last year, I'll give the details on my Discord as to what I might do. Because uh, most likely, I I will be entering AFA Indonesia for two days. If you're wondering which two days, it's most likely Friday and Saturday. Uh, 
I want to take my Friday walking around. So if you see me, you can say hi, but please don't follow me around unnecessarily. Like you can say hi, but that's that's the day where I wanna like be left alone. Let me walk. Because that's how I spend my time in conventions. I look at every single store in my free time. And then the second day I will maybe find a way to like, get a gathering spot outside the convention. And then we can be say hi there. You won't get away. Can you take photo? You can. So yeah. Protect all beauty. And usually my experience from seeing AFA is that the second day, which is usually the Saturday, is crazy crowded. At least in the case of Singapore. So the lesson learned for me is never go on the Saturday. Like, at least don't fight with the crowd inside on the Saturday because it's just not fun. Can I synthesize it? No. Can you find me fragmented monsters, please? Thank you. Please don't stalk me. Stalking is a very uncomfortable feeling. So yeah. And I, and I like my alone time. Some of you are introverts as well. I'm an extrovert, but... I have my introvert side, so that I don't like being surrounded by people all the time. Can I level her LC again? I like it. I might be able to. The problem is I'm I'm out of balls. I'm out of the ball thing, the swirly ball. What's my MBTI? Are made to be e you won't get away. I can't remember if it's J or P. I know it's the entertainer. Reach which explains why I'm a streamer, I guess. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to have my MBTI having some dominant traits. Like for example, my E was crazy high. So like, my extroversion, back when I was maybe 16 years old or something, was at 99%. But after COVID, it kind of changed quite a big amount. Such that my number is now faltering at 60. Because I, I started to grow some introverted traits. In, during the COVID times. So, yeah. Um, I know my F will never change. Because, uh, as much as I'm a very logical person, I feel like the thoughts that I make or the things that I say is more often driven by my emotions without me realizing. So, my F will stay. My end will also stay. I work with my intuition more than my senses. But the J and P is changing sometimes. So yeah. Do you hear how COVID caused me to be introverted? I don't think it's a bad thing. I like being introverted. Because... I, 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 there are days where... I just don't want anyone to talk to me. Like, you know... There's always this saying of, oh... Not, not a saying, but a question that I get from some of my friends or people who ask me about streaming. When I tell them that I stream really long, right? Like, for example, now it's nearly 3 hours, but you, you all know that recently I did the 10 hour IS stream. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, it went up to 12 hours, and then my streams can go super long. 6 hours, 8 hours, that kind of extent. So, one question I get is, so what happens when you end the stream? Do you close the game? Do you continue the game? All that kind of thing. I don't know. There isn't a fixed action of what I do. Like sometimes I might just immediately shut down, go to bed, or sometimes I might actually still be sitting here watching a video after I finish the stream or completing my dailies, that kind of thing. But one thing for sure, I don't want to talk to anyone. The moment I'm cameras out, stream ends, you see me, Stonehenge. <laughs> Like, I've used all my talking energy and social energy being with you guys here on the stream. So after that, it's goodbye world, you know. Humans, not my interest anymore. Until the next day, I guess. Did I get Sparkle? No, I will get Sparkle soon. 
I'm, I need to farm the pools for Sparkle. I will get Sparkle because she's my guarantee. I just need 20 more pools. So if, if you're if you wondered, oh, do Mr. Streamer stay human? Yes, I am very human. I cannot talk my entire life. It is tiring. Can I do IRL God Hand pool in AFA? I can. If y'all want me to pool in person, perfectly fine. Um, I did that whenever people meet me in person as well. During the Arctides Cafe, some people gave me their phones to pool also. And there were crazy pools when people asked me to pool IRL. So I, I, that influenced a lot of people back then. Um, balls. Do I want to watch the live stream of Artron and Aventurine before deciding to pull Sparkle? Why? Would that influence me? Will I make YouTube content about AFA Indonesia? I feel like it's not so much whether I want to make, it's whether people want to watch. <laughs> Cause, uh, when it comes to streaming, I like to stream. So even if there's a day, like you'll see me stream obscure games sometimes, and when that happens, not as many people watch, and I can live with that, because I like streaming anyways. If you guys tune in, I'm grateful. If you guys are not there, it's a little sad, but I will still do it because I like being in person and speaking to people. But then when, it's, when it comes to videos, I am more influenced about whether people will watch. You see, it's it's... It's a bit painful to put an amount of time to making a video only for it to not be as watched as you desire. So, yeah. I think YouTube is like a different ball game of itself. I don't know, I'll think about it anyways, whether I want to make a video for AFA Indo. I have two months to decide whether I would. I mean, I, I was supposed to make a video even about... Um, oh, by the way, oh, that's the Tears of Dream thing. Can I just spend? Eh, it's just one. Okay. Hey, let's try again. Oh, and let's try to beef up by Lou. We go for a HP. Can your HP still go up? Oh, we can. Oh, he still can. Okay, last one, last one. Alright. YouTube is part of the career, whether you want me part time or full time. Yeah, I mean, again, it's very hard. Especially those of you on YouTube. Thanks for watching if you're watching via YouTube. But um, it's it's a very tricky move for me to make to, to decide to not do AK content on the channel anymore since it's so out of rhythm and of course you guys watching will not be used to it but I find that it's just a necessary change it's a sooner or later situation because I, the the point of the AK community right now is that I can't grow anymore there's only so many more people that I can attract in the AK community to watch me and so it's a sooner or later method that I needed to do something about my channel, right? And that's why I say I, I'm not running away from AK content. I love the fucking game so much, but, you know, don't mind me making this change of trying to expand into other things. Unimportant. The inevitable is already upon us. Skip. Variety is just better in the long term, yes. So, yeah. Okay. Let's deal with this boss. Uh, we'll use your ultimate first. Wait, where by Lu? Leave, 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 I built by Lu so hard, only to not bring her. Fantastic. Don't worry. If anything happens, hold on. Pailu, can you can your can your card get better? Oh, I need this. 
And what is that? Should I just use here as a dream? Does it matter? It's not that expensive now, is it? You wanna see me as an AK creator play Helldiver? I know nothing about Helldiver. Yeah, so... Uh, maybe one quick thing, just to close the topic off. Changing my direction to variety is better for the long term, but for the short term, it's going to be fucking hard. Like, I explained at the start of the stream just now, you all can already see that with me being a long-time AK creator on the current channel, the, si the algorithm or the system is confused. Like, it, it's not trying to recommend my HSR screens or my HSR videos to HSR players because it still thinks that I'm an AK. And even once it starts to understand that it's HSR, now the whole thing starts to be like, so what do I recommend? Do I recommend one? Do, you, do I recommend the other? When the intention is to recommend both, but sadly, YouTube Algo is not very smart at that. So, it's, it's a really tricky matter that eventually I need to figure how more people can find me and enjoy my streams or enjoy my videos in the future. The biggest direction or reason why I want to move away from variety is that it's not fun making guides. Like, I can make guides, I can teach you how to play, but I wish more people appreciated me as an entertainer than a teacher, basically. Because that's more fulfilling. As a teacher, you're only going to remember one lesson of mine after very long. But if I manage to entertain you and make you happy as you watch something of mine, you will remember the feeling of happiness more than you remember that, oh yeah, this guy helped me with one stage. So, that's something that I hope will be achieved with it this year. Alright, wonder if it's better to make a secondary channel than just advertise it in main channel. You mean the whole thing where a lot of people say, why didn't I just make AK in the main channel and then the new channel completely new? Um, I thought of it as to keep the follower base going anyways. To be fair, on hindsight now, I kind of now think maybe it is true that making completely new content in the new channel might have been a better approach since the algorithm can start completely afresh. But I didn't mind it because, to be fair, making AK content in the second channel also means the algorithm is starting afresh and recognizing that the second channel is also an AK-centric channel, which is why I find that like the general viewership there is still pretty healthy it mimics a bit of the main channel and now I'm just trying to make the main channel smarter at understanding the new direction I want to make. So, yeah. But it's okay. That's things that you all will see for next time. The easiest way I can say this is if you'd like to support on that journey, of course, catch in on the videos. Don't just watch the videos, I guess. If ever you all think there's ways that I can improve on the video, just leave a comment. I do read my comments. I don't have the habit of replying but I have the habit of re reading every comment. So if there's something that you want me to do, feel free. Like if you think that helps me to be better at the, the videos or streams that I make. All right. Let's go. You only watch me for HSI and R 1999. I also have to say this, I cannot wait to stream Reverse on Monday. I'm pretty hyped to finish Chapter 5. So, you six Let's go! We'll beat you this time. Destiny is apparent. The will be a bit annoying to kill. Yeah. 
Wait, actually, hold on. Ah, shucks. I shouldn't have allowed them to hit. I should have just outed early. Because now it's a little bit of a waste of time. And just getting hit as well. Okay, I don't want the round to end yet. Let's get some healing going. Not bad. Five points. Oh, okay. GG. Merciful Clear my Okay. What oh, I can't heal. <laughs> You're just ma- You, you, you. Much nice, good, good. Say as per kippy. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Kill this guy. Time to ship your prescription. Much better. Great. Ah! What effect does this guy have? Yes, I killed him. I don't know, just punch this guy. I guess you yourself. Okay, good. Rules are made to be broken. Destiny is <laughs> Let's go. Now all we can do is to wait for our dearest trailblazer to do whatever she can to kill the boss. What do you want to know? Uh Memories of beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Let's make it quick. You're out, you're out. I need your out pop up. Need a doctor? Not bad. Five points. I want it your prescription. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> This is so stressful. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Zero points. Rules are made to be broken. Okay. We just need to damage the hell out of her now. Destiny's hand has truly blessed Oh, wind shear, man, wind shear. Zero points. Uh. Ah, don't pull it by loop. Let's go. Oh, if I use your... Okay, no, use your normal attack. We're close, we're close, we're very close. What do you want to know? <laughs> Let's make it quick. Not bad. Five points. Okay. The 
Few hours late, you cannot catch up on the board. Yes, thank you. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Next fight. I'm not gonna watch this next snap again. We don't need nightmares. Let's skip the good CG because we've seen it. I'm not gonna see it again. I don't need to be reminded of the experience of DDLC. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Fine, break, 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 break. Rules are made to be broken. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> There's a chance that it bounces on the same person. <laughs> Test. Zero points. SAS Pekipi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Ill fate is there. Kena might finish him. Do I want to heal now? You know what? Healing now might not be a bad thing. Much better. That Kena kill? Nice. Okay. Win. Let's go. Your answers. Okay, we've got the full squad into the second wave. That's a good sign. Let's go. We can win this. They have no qualms about dealing with destruction by their own hands. But since that stubborn general of has forced me to take center stage, okay. Apologies for leaving so soon, but I have an appointment to keep. I'm sure my friends here will be happy to entertain you. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Destiny is not completely possible. Not the measure of truth and falsehood. This is our chance. Yeah. Zero points. You the doctor? You trailblazer first. Much better. I don't think Black Swan will die <laughs> from the out. So we just gotta bite the bullet and say it'll be fine. Yeah. We can hear everyone. Time to your Heal her. Ow. Rules are made to be broken. Okay, 
I see the win! I see the win chat! The win con is there! I did it! I did the battle with a healer! Hold on a second. Are you really saying that Miss Ting Yun was a member of the Antimatter Legion all along? Chat, I listened, okay? I caved. Healer activated. And what was that fire that came out of her? And her body? Where did it go? Mr. Yang, you're smart. What happened just now? <laughs> Knowledge unlock healer. You know what would have been funny? It would be so iconic if the game gave me a tutorial that pops up that says healing. After using healer for the first time. <sighs> the flame we witnessed claimed to be Lord Ravager Fantilia. A name I've heard oh, an achievement? other nameless you speak heal. of in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, they should do an achievement. You heal. <laughs> She's one of seven Lord Ravagers who serve no have been fitting. and finds pleasure in witnessing the self-destruction of mortals. She's led countless souls down a dark and hopeless path. Meaning that Ting Yun had long since fallen under the Lord Ravager's influence? I don't believe so. Fantilia revels in watching a corrupted mind eating away its host from inside out until the obliteration of both is achieved. But there was but no indication that Ting Yun had been misguided or manipulated. It's possible that the Ting Yun we knew wasn't her true self, but an image Fantilia devised to serve her own purposes. So there's another copy of Tingyun? You're saying that the real Tingyun is still- I'm sorry, Marge. I can't say with any certainty where the real Tingyun may be, or at what point she was replaced by the imposter. Without knowing where the body vanished to, it'll be tough That's to- That's weird, because Tingyun is a playable character. At this point, it's all just- conjecture and hope but if that body belonged to the real Ting Yun it does raise the question of why Fantilia would go to such lengths to destroy any evidence of her wait this is why people would don't like the HSR story or like this is the the Ting point of contention within the HSR community a, a like why Luofu is such a heated story in the community The playable Tingyun is the imposter. Oh. Yezen? I believe this to be Fantilia's goal. To sow seeds of doubt among us and ensnare us among in us? a malevolent trap. Oh, but then... It's like, even if there was a real Tingyun, is she good or bad? Because there's also the ability to say that the real Tingyun is also bad. She's just an antagonist the whole way through. It's clear that the sudden resurgence of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus is all connected to the Lord Ravager. Pretending to be a San Zhou citizen, planting a stellar ROM in the La Fu, all part of her plan to bring about our self destruction. Ventilia is aiming for the Ambrosial Arbor. If she succeeds, the La Fu will be deprived of its roots. Making its destruction all too easy. We must stop her. We need to take a star skiff to scale Gorge Waterscape. The Ambrosial This Tanshu's thing is the only story we got in 1.2. What do haste. you mean when you say that? Do you mean back in version 1.2 the story stopped here? Or did it finish till the very end? It stopped here? Wait, that. Ah! So it ended on the cliffhanger? What? 
Wait. Gen okay, hold up. I don't play Genshin. But that makes me think. At least Genshin has a completed storyline. Does it not? Like when they release a region. Wait, they don't. They half release regions sometimes. So I don't know. They did that for Inazuma, didn't they? They half released like the islands. So they stopped the story as well. So this is Hoyover's way of uh, keeping you there. They cliffhanger everything and you wait. Oh, some of you feel really affected about Tingyun not being in the game or like at least them claiming that Tingyun wasn't yet real and she vanished. You're angry because Panacone stopped at the peak? Oh. So that's the negative part about Hoyoverse. I mean, I'm playing from scratch, so I would have thought this is normal. But if you guys tell me that they always stop the story at points, that's not fun. The last man? That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly. Honka Impact is a lot worse because Cliffhanger stops maybe around two weeks or so, and the mission name are there to keep reminding you about the quest. Oh. What worries me more is just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. Where's Jing Yuan? I've reported the current situation to the seat of Divine Foresight. He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the General. About Skill Gorge Water Ski? It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara. Oh, the dragons! Supposedly ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. Do I see dragons? After the Ambrosial Arbor was broken in two during the war, its roots were left gnarled and broken. Yet it never died. The Alliance decided to seal the Arbor Wait, within chat. Scale Gorge Waterscape, entrust it to the High Elders of the Vidyatara, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. It has been so long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that spectral Lord Ravager. I don't need to ask about Tingyun. Let's go. Is that a cutscene? It's a cutscene. Oh, we haven't met Tanheng! Oh my god! Uh, it has hit me! Is... We've wrote the whole story about Tanheng! Okay, wait, chat, hold on. You're saying that the story just goes. Up and up and up here, right? Okay, wait. Let's let's not have a pause in the story. So, uh, I feel like getting food. How much have I spent? Oh, not that bad actually. Wait. But yes. How did I spend at four o'clock? That was four dollars. Just the funniest thing. I track my spendings in my life. And this application is really convenient. Non not sponsored by the way. Because when when I place in my spendings, I can just click. And all it does is it tells me to write the amount and it'll immediately log in. in. But it doesn't tell me, like, I can choose what it is, but it doesn't tell me to write the specific item. And so, I'm now having an HO question when your friend asks you, so what do you eat for lunch? I forgot. What the fuck did I buy that was $4? I'm fucking old. What the fuck? How did... Wait, it, it's... Seven hours ago! How did I forget something seven hours ago? What 
the fuck? Do Chat, don't bully me. I don't have Elzimus. Elzimia Kaze. Kukizima. Oh, that's fuck. That's quite a funny name. <laughs> Kukizima. <laughs> No, I don't believe this, that I don't remember what I ate. Oh, I ate wonton noodles! I remember now. Should, should I just be healthy? Maybe you know what? Yeah, chat, I'm gonna be healthy. Hold on. Sorry to keep you waiting. powder almond milk yeah we're shaking it Oh shit, what's my cat? Can I review your Tanhem? What do you mean by review? I saw that there are quite a lot of YouTubers and streamers who does reviews. And then they review like really paid account. But then there's a part of me that thinks I feel like a really paid account in AK is weirdly cooler than a Genshin or a HSR account being stacked. Like it's more expensive for sure, right? If someone has a very built um, Genshin and Hoyoverse account, uh, sorry, Honkai account. But it's because there's less people to build in the game. Like, how HSI has 45 people, and then Genshin has, what, 80 people now? That the scale of seeing 300 built units in AK looks more appealing. For me. So yeah. Review your stat. Bro, I knew- Wait, this- Why you come in my stream, tell me, review your stat. I appreciate that you think that I'm a big streamer. I also want to be a big streamer. My guy, I played for one month. You show me 8 million, I also don't know how what, what the 8 million means. I haven't reached the point in the game where I care about the stats of my units. Why would I care about the stat of your unit? <laughs> but I am interested by stats though. I won't lie that- one thing I noticed about HSR and the late game phase is that a lot of people will chase 
percentage increases and people will chase numbers. Since once you build up everything to level 80, right? So you already got a level 80 stat. So you're just chasing relics in hopes for that you get a relic that boosts things up. Or you get... You don't even just chase relics, right? You also chase for the chance of the relic to get the stat you want. Yeah, so, so basically... If people review an account, it's just seeing your luck of the relic. It is both Genshin and HSR, right? It's not so much about the character anymore. It's, look at me, I got some guy with a crit rate of 90% or someone with a HP of 20k. Is that enough mixing? I think so. Oh wells. I don't know if I'll review anybody's account ever in the game. Like, it, it is a little strange of a topic because it seems like as if the community is fueled by that. Like, a lot of the most watched videos of HSR is around that genre for some reason. So, yeah. Um, it feels like flexing Genshin and Star Rail is like flexing how much free time or luck you have if the relics all that matters. Yeah, kind of. Um, so, oh wells. I mean, let's hope that my gacha luck makes my account interesting, I guess, when people watch. Like, I saw a lot of big streamers as well, you know, the, the whole C... My C6 Ting Chue, or my C6... I don't know, Luo Cha, do mega damage. And then the whole video is them showing it off. Like, yeah, it's cool. I would try to do that, but... Eh. I have overloaded the bow. I hope I do not crash land. Okay. Watch our DPS possible. Imagine if Pailu was made into a DPS. Wouldn't that go crazy? Imagine someone works so hard. Maybe I could do that as a joke, you know. Like, people don't care about the basic damage of Pailu. I just focus fire all my energy on Pailu's normal attack. Let's continue. familiar with this place. <laughs> okay. Yep, it's the Alchemy Commission. I'm gonna no put it on the because I want to eat my cereal. On the way over. Uh, something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. Is that a milkshake? It's it was a, a long journey, it was a banana protein now powder. Now we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. Into my I'll be back with my unit. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, I did take a bit of a detour. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Meaning? I think Meaning, Sushan thank is you, cute too. Miss Sushang. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There'll be cloud knights coming to escort you back soon. Bye for now. Alright, I'm done now. The Cloud Knights invited us to go with them. Your homeland's got some really big crucibles. Cloud Knights? No. Yeah. Okay. The messages never get sent. I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? A 
delayed for too long. I need more information. Oh, I'm in the same place as them. Leave the healer's market on your own. Optional, talk with the people to understand what is happening. I don't think I need to talk with the people. So basically, it's like immersion, where they're like, you can recap what you already know. Yeah, let's let's not talk to anyone. We can go straight. I'm sorry. I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. I can talk to Luocha and Sushan. Why? There's some nice lines there? Where are they? Now's not the time to turn back. I got stuck! Haha! <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, RIP. What a huge cauldron. This Orient cauldron is driven by the cloud hymn magic of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Uh. Uh. Wait! Something just clicked in my brain. After it's just their limited events at the end of April, right? Or the early of May. Oh fuck, how am I gonna stream the limited event if I'm in Indonesia? Oh shit, I didn't think of that. Uh oh. Hmm. Indonesia has crap internet. I'm sorry Indonesia, but you know that you do. Fuck. You guys might have to watch my stream late. In that case, you hope that is before I fly or after I come back to Singapore. Because I'm there's no way that I'm gonna stream while I'm in Indonesia. It has to be not during the trip. I was so frustrated when I landed in Indonesia, touched down. Turn on my eSIM. Instantly, no connection, no service detected. And I was get, like getting fetched by people there. So I had absolutely no way to get in contact. I didn't, I couldn't even connect to the Wi Fi, like the free Wi Fi of the place, because even the free Wi Fi was spared. All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. Ah, uh -huh. but I don't need any sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are indeed the chosen one, with endless potential. Yet, cloud him magic is just the beginning. Of Vidyadara and Mirajako? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? <sighs> these memories. Yeah. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. This is so weird. My god, you're just dead. Why am I talking to ghosts? Bro, I'm being the Lulu right now. Help him. Tang Heng's being insane. Tang Heng is hallucinating. Searching power. It's you. You've returned, High Elder. Something terrible is happening in Skalegor's water speak. Please, don't go any further. Your enemies. Your enemies are waiting for you. I'm sorry. I cannot linger here. 
My friends have left. I must find them. He didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were, it seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape, located ahead. What's the meaning of this? Oh, Tan Heng has a, has a sad expression. It's the first time I see him have an expression. He's here. I'm looking for you. Hmm, right on time. That feeling, Kafka, it's welling up within me. That feeling it, it's well don't resist let the mara strike you you're here you guys are saying i miss law <laughs> it's time to pay the price it's so funny to it's see time. him it's so funny to see him laugh and he doesn't actually laugh <laughs> No, you know what I'm saying? I could have spoken to the spirits. Because I didn't see a trigger. I walked near them, but I didn't see the trigger to speak to the spirits. I thought they were going to speak as I walked past them. But that's not me. They should have just spoken while I was near them. Because that's what the first one did. Oops. Not, not, not that I wanted to escape, law. Okay, continue. You think changing form will help you escape? Escape. I've told you and that woman many times. I am Dan Hung. <laughs> I've nothing to do with your past. Dan Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You. You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you. Don Hung, you will know the pain of death. <laughs> not on my watch. Hey. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Ching Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to. Huh? You... you look so... familiar. <laughs> look out! <laughs> Quit hiding. <laughs> Your true <laughs> self revealed. Stop! <laughs> you... I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. Imbibator Lune. <laughs> Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. I've heard of you in Bibiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienjo. Sword, heed me. When you no interest in stoking conflict. I thought I was gonna play as Yen Sing fighting them. I didn't think I was gonna be Tan Hung. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Do not be afraid. Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. 
They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence! You're not getting away. Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then. Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara. So it begins. That's you. Yeah. He calls him Lady. Why are we beating the Tao? Afraid to hurt the boy. What the, what did Yen Jing do to Jesus? I wonder if the others are okay. Isn't Yen Jing the good guy? How did you beat him? You two just Why won't be fighting against each other. What the fuck? Choice. Fucking Tan Hung Mara struck changed his personality. No, can't delay any longer. Tan Hung just went from I own a library to I kill the children of the anymore. library. But Use the skill at, to enhance Tan Hung no in the Bitter Lunay's basic me. attack for up to three times. Oh, yeah. Search. Oh! No. Free trial! This isn't over. All of you listen to me. Stop. Well, Blady, are you satisfied? Tanhung stripped down when he changed form. What did you do? They took off your clothes. I'm just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lawfu's hotshot general. <laughs> oh! Hi! Ching Yuan. General! He looks so unimpressed! He looks... Ashamed Many years have passed since of the two of you departed the Xianzhou. And yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. Wait. I hope that someone in the HSO community has done the meme. You know the, the, the meme of the Pepe frog with the drop fast food on the floor? And then there's Yen Sing. And then the guy looking up at him is just Jing Yun. <laughs> oh, already, yeah? Okay, okay. That, that's, that's definitely what that scene mm, was going for. That it is. Thank you for assisting the Xianzhou in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. The child is ruined. The child is sad. It has been a long time, old friend. <sighs> I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. Because of all the I'm him mean that has been like you cannot up in the yet. recent times. Him saying Your I'm not him is a really funny line. waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? In that form? We give them birthday surprise? Lunarescent Depths. A realm of singular beauty. Scale Gorge Waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. To be honest, after finishing the story, you still don't know why Yen Xing came over. 
Like, what's the reason he came here in the first place? Did Jing Yuan bring a child here? But Yan Qing is his, uh, this, yeah, his disciple, what? Like, his assistant. So, I think the problem with the disconnect is that if I remember very early in the story, because Blade was a runaway guy, Kafka was also a runaway, right? You need to remember that actually this story started with them looking for the Stateron Hunters. So, it took them the start to the end of the story to find the Stellaron Hunters again. Oh, and some of you are saying I should have completed a companion quest before this. I didn't know that because the game didn't trigger it. But I assume I can still play that companion quest. You know the Vidyadar are hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng. He's eager to prove himself to his master. I guess that's what Yen Sing is like, yeah, it feels that way. Is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. Who the f- I bore Ooh. his punishment, <laughs> accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud <laughs> your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. Who's that father? An exercise in unhappiness. <laughs> Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. Wow. Wait. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Feng, you must do something for me. Who's Dan Feng? And then, second thing, you all heard the little growl sound that Dan Heng made in the previous line? Well, girls must have been screaming there. I was also going to say this, when they jab the sword into Dan Heng, there is at least one diehard hardcore fan out there. Some female or even male. They just scream, No! Oh, I see chess. Why my tongue hung like this? Before I can let Don Fong die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may is not be capable of the things yeah, I don't that Dai Feng was capable her. of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Fung is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I... These lines are exceptionally funny. <laughs> this whole Tan Hung and Feng thing is so funny. I wish they just chose a completely different name and not change one letter. I am the general of the Law Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You, you brought them here? <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over, yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. <sighs> 
from this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fu. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. So the spirits are speakable? I should have. Man, if only I knew. Yes, what would, what would you like to say? Her hatching rebirth is complete. She left me all alone. Still, I wait for the day of my rebirth. Endless waiting. Oh? Is this the meaning of the Viadera dying and then afterwards they get reborn? So this is... They are... Like... Young... Sorry. They are, they are reborn phase? The soul waiting to emerge. As recorded in the ancient text, this body of water was Why does he have the same voice as Ting Yuan? From our homeworld, it formed part of the roiling deep. It is as pure here as it was there. He sounds exactly like Ting Yuan. Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyatara. Do you know something? When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyatara, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor Let me see Ting Yun or Ting Yun. The dragon transmutation inheritance was not intact after all. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. Wait. The Vidyadra were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyatara were sure of their scheme. But you cannot hide fire with paper. Who the hell is Tan Feng? Is Tan Feng like a previously bad person? That's like kind of what I'm understanding there. Wait, and then what I wanted to say was Whoa, wait, his back is exposed, what the fuck? Hello? I didn't see this when I was reviewing you. What the hell? Oh! Oh, fucking, he's, he's the entire creamery. He's the fucking ice cream factory. Okay, and... Um, this also makes me realize. So Tan Hung's a dragon? That makes him extra cool. Look, your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go. We trial. Heaven search. Let's make it quick. I swear, oh, yeah. much is about to I ask Tan Heng what he's cosplaying. That's my bet. When this battle ends, much is the first to speak. This is our chance. There's no time to lose. Here, 
them thunder. Told you I could fight. Search. Are you good against the boss? Let's go. You seem pretty strong. Follow my chart. Ow. Rules are made to be broken. Heaven search. Why am I not allowed to use my enhance? That's not fair. Let me use his ultimate. I want to see what's in his ultimate. Show no mercy. Wow. Ooh. Heaven search. Break. Oh, it was already enhanced. Oh, that was the best it could be already. So it was permanent enhanced. I see. <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife, then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. <laughs> huh? I is that... Don Hung? It's so funny that he does it like a presentation. Guys, I brought you someone for him to see. And Tan Hung wakes for the moment that he finishes that line to appear behind his back. It's really funny. You are Dan Hung, right? What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Law Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore. Understand, establish, and connect. Oh, As father the crew of, of the, the Express. Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the this obstacles like an we scene. face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. Democracy!
Is this important to the storyline? This feels like it could be critical, but no, it's not gonna be important. I'm clicking remain still. I'm clicking remain still. <sighs> the choice is yours, Dong Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> But as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no choice! Choice is an illusion! There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadara's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial unfun? Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Skill Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice. That's quite the Alliance erected the, monument. the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Don't you think it's a little too well built? Uh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... <laughs> the statue... Is that... Don Hung's brother? That's not a bad answer. <laughs> I see why you might think so. Come on, it's not a bad answer. A long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadara have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor should be able to open a way through to that great tree. If I'm understanding this correctly, Dan Feng was his previous form before he reincarnated. It's is am I understanding this what right? What happens next is in your hands. So he entered the reincarnation. I see. Open the road, the Ambrosial Arbor, or talk to everybody else in the hall. Uh, you scared the heck out of me! For a second I thought you'd annoyed the General. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you. And it turns out the two of you are old buddies. <laughs> so, what made you suddenly decide to come down from the Express? Don't say anything. Okay, okay. I won't push you. Everyone has their secrets. Besides, given the circumstances, uh, my curiosity can wait. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. We. Any point to talk to Fushun? Talk to myself. He looks at you and you both become silent. Is there nothing you'd like to ask? Cream shakes her head. She doesn't want to speak. Nobody can get her to open up. That's very weird. That is very weird. 
I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. I guess I'm sorry I never You're a up. member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. Wait, I'm not understanding this correctly. I might have missed a line or two just now. What does he mean when they say that he got banished? Why was he banished? For crimes? Crimes? He's a criminal? Oh, so I don't know now. There's a, there's a quest that tells me what it is. Okay. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. Imbiber Lune's okay. reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Why would the names of the banished Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your what? appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyatara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? Let's do it! Tanhung, look at that. You are him. Wait, does he have an exposed back as well? You are almost him. The statue of the High Elder has been greatly changed by years of weathering. There are small words engraved near its base. Hirken as Arbor revives and falls near us. We call forth the mighty waters of ancient sea to flood abodes of heaven and quell roots of evil. We ash this in stone for all to heed. Beneath the endless rolling waves, the ancient roots of the arbor blaze. Long dormant, they stir and come to life, as if a beast were waking from its strife. The containment mechanisms woven by past thrones, the bindings that tame the beast's power known. A fragile net, soon to shatter and fall, its decay a warning heard by one and all. Memories from the past emerge from the darkness, tightly gripping you. Is Jesus? What the fuck? Atlantis? Oh fuck, he's Moses! Fuck! I don't know who- I don't know the guy who parted the waters! I'm sorry! I'm not Christian! I only know there's a guy who parted the waters! Who made the water go left and right? Oh, I have insulted all my Christian friends by saying he's Jesus. The annals mention <laughs> that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Oh, Jesus walk on the water? Look at all Isn't the Jesus the guy who walked in between two water walls? <laughs> is he not? Wait, is my memory ruined? Jesus turned water into wine. Yeah, I heard that one. Shit. I mistook my stories. Okay, wait. Okay, now... No, 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 no. Serious question. Atlantis? I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. 
The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the Arbor. The Lofu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Xianzhou. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knights, attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Is this not very risky? Are they saying to trap him in? Like they all leave and just trap him in if this goes wrong? Yes, yes General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. Thank this medicus Daran. Step into the ancient Biadara ruins. I wanted to make a video essay one day to explain oh, why these steps are so I think gacha apart. games shouldn't be obliterated and instead be more appreciated. Like, a lot of people hate gacha games because, yeah, they are very bad when it comes to, like, making people spend. But on the other hand, you get scenes like this. Why would you complain? You scale court waterscape to seal the armor. Treason! Blasphemy! You've lost your senses. You think this will gain the trust of the Sienjo natives. Those who are not of our kind can never be of our mind. I understand your misgivings, but my decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case, I will report you to the preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor's seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the Root Depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the three talons. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just follow <laughs> me. Oh, what a huge palace. Oh. Completely abandoned. Um, that must what have was been difficult for like, them. I, I, it was Why a thought I had in my brain recently about me. the idea where a lot of people are very negative towards gacha games. But the they don't seem to understand or, or must like the argument is that oh, sacrifice. gacha games are very predatory. You spend a lot of games uh, money on it because you want to get the characters that you want, which is true. I think that's the negative part of a gacha game. However, 
the end at the end of the day it's not the gacha game's fault of making people spend when the last person who can make the decision to spend the money is the end user itself right you decide to spend the money the game never at one point say pay up now or will raid your house right so I've always find it really weird especially with like the western people's arguments western people tend to hate this more like the Americans and the Europeans they, they, they tend to hate gacha games because they're like oh it's gonna make you spend but again it doesn't it, it, it gives you persuasion to spend but it's your ability to resist it's the same as gambling where you can hate gambling but there is an element where gambling is fun. We inher we inherently like to test our luck, right? But if you if you access the risk and you you think oh maybe I shouldn't be gambling, then you you learn from that and you just choose not to, basically. So I I don't know this this simple visual cutscene yeah. itself just makes me appreciate the idea of a gacha game like it's just crazy that i've spent no money to experience this level of gameplay like it's so accessible for people especially who can't spend that much money on games why is there a gorilla a ceremonial lamp left by the viadra viadra that contains the viadra power or ceiling by lighting them up in a specific sequence, the corresponding seals in Scale Gorge Waterscape can be removed. This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be there a are different types of gacha game. Of the arbor. Yeah, I agree. Those um, you that there are different types of gacha game. So like, stone lanterns? um, so like, uh. There are some gacha games that are very problematic, right? C certain of them are way more predatory, especially with the amount of times that they advertise to you, buy this pack today, buy it now. You have one hour, you have 24 hours left to buy that pack. Like those kind, very annoying, right? Those that keeps force feeding you the, the concept that you have to spend are very negative. But then you ha then have the other side of gacha games where they don't really put it to you, it's they make you spend because you love the game. The more you like it, the more you say, you know what, I I like the game. I'm gonna put some money in. So, yeah. Um, they exploit human nature through FOMO. There's an exploitation factor to it, yes. But then there's also that weird part of me that thinks... It's kind of like where you spend your money, you know. You either put... You can put $80 on the AA title, or you can put $80 to get a certain character that you want. The biggest problem, I think, it's... Or the, the, the number one player base that shouldn't play this game are technically collectionists. It's both the number one player base that should play and shouldn't play the game. That is, if you feel like you need everything, and you will spend. If you have the capability to spend, it's the game for you. If you don't have the capability to spend, don't fucking touch a gacha game. Like, it will... It can crash and burn your life. Um, I didn't... I, I have heard stories from my friends that they know of people or they have their own friends that really crashed hard in a gacha game. They spent a lot of money in it, like thousands, only to let it control their life. Those kind of people cannot play gacha games. Like if you tap wallet without knowing what happens to the money in the end of the day, then don't play. But if you're conscious, then sure. That's right. All right, what am I supposed to do? From what I recall, we have to touch these stone lanterns in a particular sequence to unlock the seals in this area. There are abominations up ahead. Careful, everyone. Hmm. Did you notice the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the seal.
the puzzle, but what is... This one's steep, lit up. Does it tell me something? Hmm. Did you notice the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the sea. I need to kill the gorilla. Do I have to? I can't do it if I can't kill it, is it? Oh, you mean he's stopping? The puzzle to work? Um. I mean... the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the seal. Discovered by enemy can't interact. For the fear of the mediocre. Did you notice the flagstone the creature was stepping on? Did you notice Does it count? the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the seal. Man. So I have to kill him. Bye, healer. I can do it without healer, right? 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 If there's any. Any ally that uses their skill, what? I didn't read the full description. <laughs> it says something about using the skill. Wait, using the out should be okay. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. Oh, will be targeted. Oh, but that, that isn't that bad. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Exhausted! Die! That's what you deserve! This is our chance. Yeah! I have something for you. I'm asking questions. What do you want to know? Drunk. <laughs> Your 
officers. Answer me. Zero points. My goodness. Did you notice the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the seal. He kept repeating that line because there was an investigate. Revelation sleep. Use the function below to check the revelation sleep. Inlay gold decorations on the slate indicate the method of paying reverence to the stone lanterns to unlock the seal. Hmm. Did you notice the f one, two, three, four? Flagstone the creature was stepping on. I wonder if it has any connection to the One. seal. Two. Cool. It worked. General, oh, three did things you to oh. hear about Miss Ting Yun? I received word from Lady Fu. The depth of Fentilia's infiltration, along with her meticulous planning, makes her extremely difficult right. to guard against. The Cloud Knights will carry out an investigation. But for now, our most pressing matter is to put a stop to Fentilia's scheme. Miss March, I would advise you to refrain from interfering with the Vidyatara. Huh? The Vidyatara? You mean these pearls will turn into people? When the life of a Vidyatara is over, they return to the ancient sea and form a shell before emerging anew. This is the hatching rebirth cycle. Whoa. <laughs> no! Don't destroy me. That should do, General. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Don't be nervous, sir. This is a mere formality for me. And the Ten Lords Commission. It sounds like you didn't sing. This is of vital importance to the Ambrosial Arbor Seals. Safety must be guaranteed. Quelling the Arbor is the duty of the Vidyatara. Keep in mind. This generation cannot afford to repeat the failure of the previous High Elder. Of course. The Cloud Knight General and the Ten Lords Commission. They performed regular inspections of Scale Gorge Waterscape. Wait, it's... so that's a memory, right? It's a memory of... May, like it might not be the person itself, but oh! Your answers. Test. Destiny is apparent. <laughs> I'm asking questions. Answer me. Three. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. SAS Pakibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Time's passage is under. Your answers? GG. 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 I'm not escaping this one. Zero points. Flesh. Uh. 
ないトゥベノヘルトプレイウィフ This seal was already on the verge of breaking before the ambrosial arbor's resurrection No puzzle? Oh, they should have hinted me. That's not fun. They should hint the player after some time. Okay. I mean, you catch the drift now. I guess the puzzle will stay the same even in the third one. Okay. Let's head to the third seal. Chest! I want my chest. Shoot. Bye. If your people knew that you had brought me here, there would be great unrest. They will never know. Keep quiet, in shame. This will make us even. Voice of the high elder. I will give you two hours. Research what you can. Remember, two hours. I'm a short life species. Do you think two hours isn't enough? It will be done. Hmm. That's Dun Fung's voice. But what about the other person? In Sing? So familiar. Who's In Sing? Oh, Calyx, hi. A Calyx in this weird Atlantis land. How do I get there? Oh, there was a path. Damn. No, don't chase me, don't chase me, don't chase me, don't chase me. Thank you. The last of the three talents is here. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to hint me. What could the answer be? It's not the floor. The answer? Oh, chest. Birth. There's a baby. There's two people there. There's three people there. Is there four people? Oh, wait. There's a sparkle. So they want me to read it. Beneath the lunar glow at dawn, the Diodora eggs begin to form. And from the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadara hatching rebirth in the lunarescent depths, and the beginning of self reincarnation. This mural is pretty interesting. It looks like time hasn't had any effect on it. This mural must be related to the others here. It tells the story of the Vidyadara self reincarnation, from hatching rebirth in the ancient sea. To the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps? Uh, fair enough. It's tough racking your brains all the time. I'm struggling to keep track. So now I have a problem. What came first? The baby or the egg? Because this could either be the first or the last. Without reading it, might I be able to guess? I can't really tell what the murals- I can only tell what that mural is saying. I can't tell what the rest of the murals are saying. Let me try to imply. I think these are the Cloud Knights. And then there's the Starscapes. 
What's the man cooking? Okay, what about this? Oh, is this summoning the Ambrosial? That looks like the summoning something. They might be summoning this lamp. What about this? I feel I need to read one. I need to read one to understand the context. I want to read this one. And as the day is almost gone, return alone to water's song. Beneath the waves in silver shell, await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyadva is reached after seven centuries. They return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. I think this is first, although I don't really understand why. What seems to be the problem, friend? Hmm, it would appear the seals have you at a loss. Those two are connected. In our vicinity be but it feels like this... Seal? It feels like this is supposed to be in the middle of this two. Because this is like the summoning it. Ah, fuck it. Give me one more. I, I, I can't guess from the murals. I don't know what they're... reincarnation's doing. greatest cost. The wisdom of a past life lost. Yet through the teachings of our kind... Unto the young again, consigned. The mural depicts the Vidyadva being guided by their elder, a wiser kin after their rebirth. This first. Then this. Then this. And that. I can't, I, I did not catch the details. So. They are stages of life, but I couldn't really see it because there were multiple people inside. The reverence to the three talents is complete. Like, I knew that this was now, a baby, like someone who was born, the right? Arbor. And then I couldn't really tell what this one was referring to. Because I thought these were just people it's opening the ambrosial we must harbor. Until when he read it, I realized, oh, the reference is the kids. Like these are the, the it's the younger ones in the picture. And then this is them when they're old. And this is them after they're a kid. So yeah, I I read the problem is I didn't know who to focus on in the mural. But it's okay, I got it anyways. If only I got it with less hints. Oi! Where can I go? Chest! To repay them. Yeah. This looks like it's about to go hard. It's about to be crazy. 
Ready, chat? I think this is my ending of Lofu. Let's go. Ah! I did not grab a healer! I'm dead! I'm dead! Dragon? I'm dead! I can't sight read this! We've reached the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, where the vestiges of abundance Oh, I can lie. change? Okay. Reverence to the Three Talents. The path to the Great Roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared. Can I get hit free child? Actually, the problem is I don't even know what elements are in play. Oh, wait. I think I get to see it. He must include Xing Yuan. What do you mean team must include Xing Yuan? Uh, I guess Himeko can leave. Don't worry. Brawl, <laughs> okay. Black Swan, okay. You're fine. And we're playing with the elements. Let's go. General of the Law Fu chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of med- uh, Fantilia! What is she doing? Brian <laughs> hit! Factors, behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance live up to the name. Let's see if I can put it to good use. If Tingmin is knocked down, the barrel will eat him. The very power that brought the Sienja long life, I will use to bring it destruction. Ventilia has usurped the power of the arbor. All of you. Focus on destroying the phantom flowers. I'll go for the body. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Not bad. Five points. <laughs> so much bark with so little bite. Your attacks are futile. <laughs> This body was born of the arbor. You are but ants. Had some strong wind. Watch, careful. Mind the matters. Wow. <laughs> Time to show the court that you're protected. Not bad. Five points. <laughs> in my garden give me more grief <laughs> your arrogance 
arrogance betrays you. That's done. Questions. Oh my god, I didn't think it would recover my skill point. That's big. That's big that it recovers my skill points. <laughs> Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Let's go for kill. Lies an endless abyss. Oh, the measure of truth and falsehood. Nice. Vanquish the abomination. Zero points. Go for kill, go for kill. Show no mercy. Great. We're very close. She has three phases! Never mind, we're not close. I'm blind. I did not see the three dots above. Help. Give me my skill points, thank you. Oh! Let's heal everyone now before the second phase gets in. Destiny's hand has truly blessed ill tidings manifest, crushing an end with the weight of a star. How indulgent. The universe will end in destruction. And with it, the abundance and the hunt will disappear. No status. <laughs> Is that it? Vanquish the abomination. Take it from here. Did you think it was over, Fantilia? Use Cloudheim Raw to attack Fantilia. Guess I could use it again. Oh, I can't. A scion of permanence. Have you finally remembered your duty of watching over the arbor? What do you want to know? <laughs> I'm asking questions. Memories are ever beneath the water lies an endless abyss. <laughs> the music is banging though. The music is really banging though. To victory. <laughs> Done. Show no mercy. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate is said. Zero points. Free. Until you, your scheme ends here. <laughs> What is that? Well done. Ten points. Not bad. Five points. Time to show us your prescription. Are we still 
will answer to you, Fantilia. So much effort to crush us, and met with so little success. I wonder what the other Ravagers would think. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted with them. I'm afraid you won't have a chance. Time to end this. Summon the Lightning Lord and eliminate the flowers generated by Fantalia. Three times. No need to rush. Patience breeds. me. Zero points. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. A Oh, I broke her. I broke her. I actually broke her. Oh. Whoa, 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 fucking heal, fucking heal, fucking heal. Oh, 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 no. For the master stroke. Show no mercy. Zero points. Give me. 
my indulgence. Yours for my next trick. I shall turn each of you into my Void Ranger. The power of the destruction will eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns of the great Nanook. Let's start with this arrogant Sien Jochen. Transformation of the Sienjo General into the Void Ranger would cast the law crew back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating ways. What are you? Tanhan saved the day. Tanhan's a hero. Oh, General of the hunt. But all I lost was a body stolen sounds. on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, power of destruction. <laughs> Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt. I was hoping he said be gone to <laughs> <laughs> It would have been so funny. It would have been the perfect line. If he just said to her General, Be gone, you... Dot! Okay. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> and it would seem. The two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <laughs> Why is there a live stream next week? Why just are? Until What's it about? A truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, I'm afraid Patch. victory would have been far What from day certain. is it? <clears throat> and when is it? Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. Wait, so you guys are saying there might be a live stream next Friday, but it is not officially announced. Um, yeah, is Fantella still alive? Oh, there is. Okay. What time in my country? It takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still. Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some to time. Let me check my schedule. Yeah, I can watch that. If you want me to watch that. Sure, sure. I'll watch it with you guys. Leave that to the master divine. I'll, I'll watch the 2.1 live stream. <sighs> Will I finish Pentaconi by then? Be... Probably not. Will I get spoiled? Spent. Probably. Will I mine? No. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! A few moments later, Fushin and the Cloud Knights arrived. A star's gift is ready to take you all to the Exalting Sanctum. I don't- I, I'm not sensitive about spoilers. Like, I'm sensitive about spoilers if I didn't ask for it. But if I am aware that I will get the spoiler and I consciously made the decision to see the spoiler, I'm fine. Like, there's a difference between you guys suddenly telling me, Hey, Cookie, you know the next scene, Tan Hung dies? 
yeah, that's fucked up. That you you gotta tell me that when I wouldn't have known that. Whereas, oh hey, did you know that uh, the story gets really really interesting if you play more of it, and then I actively choose to look at the Wikipedia record myself without anyone doing it for me. Yeah, yeah I'm fine with that because I chose to. So yeah. Uh, so if the stream is gonna have a uh, leaks, sorry, not leaks, but spoilers, I'm okay, since that's the price I paid for not reaching there yet. I mean, will they say it on the live stream? That's the weird part. Am I gonna do the after story for this? Th this is the question I need to ask you guys then. Should I be finishing? Because technically, the Wofu story has ended here, right? And then it has an epilogue to its own storyline. So, after this, I am free to pen a corny or wrap up the Wofu story. I would assume you guys are wanting to... Oh, the epilogue's pretty short? Okay. Yeah, I think it's not so bad. I mean, is it as short as like the... The... Zevrok scene? Where he's just chatting with everyone, saying hi to everyone. Goodbye. Okay, so... Happy up today. Okay, fine. Then, then we'll finish Ruofu entirely be before this stream ends. What is your purpose for entering the seed of Divine Foresight? I think... I did say that my next HSR stream will be for side quests, to be fair. Because I feel like I should be continuing the side quests before I open up even more side quests in Pentaconi. So, I do want to do Pentaconi story, but I don't see the point rushing it until the 2.1 stream. So if the 2.1 stream suddenly blows up and shows me, hey, you see this little girl? Yeah, she's dead. I, I can't do anything about it. Basically. Like, so... I probably just side quest in, in in the next week. And then we'll do Panaconi after the 2.1. Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public How about you guys watch it first and tell this if there's no spoilers? This is her first real test as a General. How do we watch it first? I hope she can get so I delay myself quickly. by 30 minutes. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. Collating casualties and losses. <laughs> Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest wins. Well, enjoy yourself. Share your troubles with me, I guess. Generalship is no trifling matter. It is a duty one must bear. Oh, I think she actually really enjoys it. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Ooh, all those benefits that the general promised. They're finally here. Yippee! Yes. <laughs> the Astral Express has braved great evil for the Law Fu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Law Fu. Within the Law Fu's jurisdiction, you are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. 
On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible, then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. Now that things have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Please. It looks like she's looking directly at March and saying, I have something to discuss with you specifically, woman. of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the La Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So... Where should we begin? Um, let's talk about the Stellaron Hunters. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as little. But in the Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the Lawfu, based on what Kafka knows and despite everything being under the control of Elio. That prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Lawfu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sien Joe. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. Now that the future has come true, the Sien Joe has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. Let's it discuss appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon you the disciples English of Sanctus Medicus. Words, your words so hot. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lawfu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. My god, the way Fushu talks makes it look like reverse 1999 is a baby. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a re-evaluation. We should proceed cautiously. When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago, the abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to this work with the enemy, this course and not this acquiring course. a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Hmm. They succeeded all right. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. <sighs> that we may. But as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sien Zhou? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report, but for the sake of Jin Yuan 
anything related to Sienjo internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. At least there's no Paimon in HSR. I think I don't disagree to that. I think March 7th is a better upgrade than Paimon. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Mm. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight Generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukong. <sighs> it was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. What's the most accepted community theory so far for Ting Yun? I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicaster may be a bleak one. The most accepted community theory is that she's dead. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her Foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place, and I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now let me take a look at my. But what's what's the reason for the theory that she's dead? <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave. Because they don't make it clear. Like, here they don't make it clear. Funeral? Like, when I say community accepted theory, it's like, is that... Is that like a lore YouTuber that decided to become MadPad for HSR? Guys, you don't understand. Okay, I, I. You know what? Fuck it. I should. I, I should. Have... Getting Pailu was not a bad thing. She might be my Burma character now. She's so. She's so fucking. I. You know what? Seeing a little kid run like that, and then to think that she's a doctor. Like. Bro, she's the ambulance! Pailu is actually the ambulance. She runs faster than an ambulance can reach. Wait till I play the story. He needs to wear like, you know, like a... You know how police cars got the blaring alarm that spins around? She needs like, I don't know, some kind of like blaring... Ambulance alarm on her head. Where am I going? Come on, can't we stay out a little longer? You have a quest, do you think? Hello. I see. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, 
I would like to thank the crew of the Express. What's the name of the previous saving the law girl? Oh, from she. The I actually forgot. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. If the fed. Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in okay. disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Okay. 30 years is a very long time. There is no way you keep a secret of being an enemy for 30 years. Oh, but then, okay, hold on a second. 30 years in... Lawful's context might be short. Yeah. But no matter if you have an eternal life or not, 30 years of enduring a secret is still painfully long. Isn't it? Uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Guys, lies... The ability to keep lies is not a percentage. I'm pretty sure it's a set number of days. There is only so much time until we feel guilt. Or that we've done something wrong. There's no way- Oh, look! Humanity's life is extended to 1000 years. Oh, guess I'll be fine that I did this crime. Like, I can hide about doing this crime for like 100 years now. When I could have done it in 10. In the long- uh, in the shorter life I had. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers, sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, Death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara-struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long-life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. 
I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts. But at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. Maybe help? I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scale. Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukon. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. I actually really think that Ting Yun is a major plot hole right now. Like, it's a plot hole they would probably come good, back huh? to in the future, but it's very weird that you leave your players guessing what is the actual outcome of her. You always did say that I like to gossip, and here I am rambling on proving you right. Again. Because you, you need to understand this, yeah. You were here uh, the, to cut me I, I find this part of the story a little strange because so they could have not done this scene this whole funeral scene right but yet before this scene both Fu Xian and Yu Kong kept rambling about how maybe the version that they saw were a fake Ting Yun you know maybe she got control or maybe she was always bad like they kept guessing left and right Right? And then ending it off with a But she's not here anymore. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna respect that maybe she's real and then she's gone and she was someone that spent time with me. That's why we're gonna have a funeral. But it seems like the the intention on leaving it this ambiguous is they will come back to this next time. We don't know when next time. It could be five years. Nah, that's too long. But I don't know, just a number of years from now. It's definitely not going to be the next year. When that happens, how's the community going to react? Because you're already taking that long of a wait before we re-explore this team again. So, yeah, this, this section is very odd for me. I don't like this writing. Oh, it's you. For a moment, I thought she returned. Did the Helm Master send you over? We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty well, much everything. Spoil me, all in this but box. not mention Please, who. Take your time. Does any main playable character in Genshin die? Again, don't mention who. Did they do that before? No? Weird that they decided to do that in HSR. Okay, let's see what there is. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, is it in HI? and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique. That's cute. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yan Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. I feel like Ark Knights having death as an element to their characters, right? Is a little more acceptable because you've already early on have the setting where everyone's infected with oripathy and at some point the oripathy will get the better of them so 
the idea where you might hit a later story event that implies, oh, maybe this character isn't with us anymore, that is hard to a take in, but it's a little more like you've er they prepared you for that, right? We weren't prepared for this thing in twist in this story. Like, oh shoot, she's the enemy. Wait, she just died in front of my face. What the fuck? And then you're just left there like, what do I do with this body? What do I do with this information? Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. You see, so with the way that the story writers are doing this, right, it implies that Yen Sing's a good person. Uh, sorry, not Yen Sing. Ting Yun's a good person. And so. The, the confusion that's left behind now is then you would have to think something happened in a recent time that caused her to change. But there is now this forever plot hole of you don't know what that was. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want to take a look in the there's box. There's nothing else, except a handful of seeds. It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. I don't know. Where have I seen that name before? Nice. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she there's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. Oh. A room alley? So this this side quest Which is uh store is that again? What? Find this find the store to send to? It's a good bow. It could. All right, just kidding. <laughs> just trying to. Do you know where we're supposed to take? Give the gifts to the Ming to Ming Ming at Sweetless Earl. Arrive at Orum Alley. This, this quest is just you, errands and you come whining. It's a bit of a habit, yeah. We had that in the 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 Yerilo region as well, where after a whole boss fight, we are suddenly town. running errands again. Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? Have a really mature voice or small little girl. Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia, and imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Miss Ting Yun came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the Sienjo had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. 
I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Team Yoon today? Why am I the one to break the news? You tell me what happened to Team Yoon. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Ting Yoon would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. I think I should give something to Ting Yoon in return. A few moments later, Mamun served the tea. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend, seeing as Ting Yoon won't be able to try it. We should drink a cup to her memory. I'm not done with the story yet, but okay, hear me out. I get it now. I don't like Lofu, sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this deliberate attempt at making me sad? Over a character that you did not definitively tell me that she's dead. Like I feel s Bro, I got hit fucking hard with the fucking... Who was it again? I, sorry, I don't remember names very well. Who was it in the reverse color bonus story? Tamir or something? What the hell is the name? Yeah, that one broke me! Kumar! Oh yeah! Yeah, that one fucking destroyed me! I cried eh, my, my ass off on stream! Because that's good story writing. This is weird! Okay, I don't think Honkai's story is bad. I think I think the characters are funny, the characters are likable and personable. The problem is this story ass. The Lapu is famous for its mung bean soda. Sorry, who am I talking to? Is it upstairs? Wait, what? Oh, you! Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? Isn't that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Go on. It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for you a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Okay, thank you. Famous for oh, it's one of those places that they locked me out from seeing. New map. Show me. Why the new map big though? I hope it's nice. It's a night market. Let's see. Who am I talking to? Uh, Spice is supreme. Check out that sign. Here it is. Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? We're here on the gift giving errand for Miss Tingyun. Uh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? <laughs> oh, uh, what a precious person she is. Ah, oh, a sweet thing like her, gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. 
She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across I some rare find... mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. This is how I feel about Lofu story. Patients are at risk, and this is what could happen if they eventually gave way. If you don't understand the context, it's a documentary that was explaining of a dangerous bridge. And they gave this the this this simulation of a car flying off the bridge and diving in. They took a good few seconds to show a coffee cup. And the scene ended with the coffee cup in the water. That's how I feel about this. Ting in is the coffee cup. Miss Tingyun is too kind. Why am I supposed to feel emotions? Vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames. Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? <laughs> This... This is real, right? <laughs> the monster you mentioned... Where did it come from? I wish... I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. <sighs> Thank you. All of you. Let me prepare no, a dish it's... for you. Okay, this is a gift from Mr. How I Yun. think this story could have been so much better. Whatever I'm doing now should have happened before whatever the ending of the story was. This is the wrong timing. You're trying to make me feel emotionally connected to the character, but you didn't make me feel emotionally connected I'm sorry, emotionally connected in the first place. That's a very easy improvement. You shift all these side quests to the front, I immediately feel more affected it was if Tingyun's gone. Chili oil beef awful stew that first it's attracted like, Miss yeah, Bro, the first thing restaurant. you introduced to me was the person evil. Later on you tell me the person good. Again. How am I supposed to feel? Forgive Please. the person? You'll have to eat her share too. About that bow. I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yu Kong, right? Sorry, let me explore this place a little bit. I don't I know this is stalling, but I want to I want to see a night market. This is interactable. Okay, we'll do that one day. We'll, we'll do all the interactables in a stream. Instead of like, scattering them. Eh? There's nothing here. Eh? Eh? How do I... Eh? Huh? 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 The map says there's a path. What?
Tea house? The sink work here? There's no staff. This must be a store. Ooh. They look outer and Kaya outer. Investigate? Oh. More maps. Okay. I think that's as much as I need to explore. Cool map. Looks cozy. Looks friendly. This is nice. Take what chest? I'm blind. I think Pailu is running faster than I can see chess. It's okay guys. I'll do chess on my own free time. I, I, I'm not gonna... I, I won't do a chess hunting stream. Ever. Like, you can see in the in, in the others that I already did my chest. But I will do a... Eh, will I do the puzzles for you guys to watch? I don't know. It's a bit nonsensical. They gave me the Hexa Nexus 2.0. Which were, was a cool puzzle to do. Okay, where am I going? Who are you? I am in Stargazer Navaldia. That's great. I saw you on Cycrane system that you were nearby. There's an important task I need your help with. It's really urgent. The exalting Centum Sky Dome malfunctioned half an hour ago. It was probably caused by an unusual yin yang phenomenon by from Ambrosio Arbor. I can't read. I can't read. Stop essaying Ambrosial Arbor's new growth. The technical details are complicated, so I won't elaborate. In short, one district has a serious problem and it's about to explode. The entire Lofu has yet to fully recover from all the chaos, and there's no one available to handle this emergency. Fortunately, there is a, an office worker in the Skyfaring Commission who jumped on a sky, star skiff and flew to the Sky Dome to carry out an emergency fix. But the Starskiff also broke down during the rescue and lost contact over Stargazer Nevalia. It may have been forced to land or even crashed. Damn. I've already informed the Cloud Knights to send reinforcements ASAP. But one second can mean the difference between life and death for this kind of thing. Can you folks go take go take a look? Where's the crash site? I'm still trying to find out. Your friend Mr. Yang is also nearby. I've already contacted him. Anyways, try to find a vantage point in Stargazer Nevalia and use a sky Cycrane to locate the star skiff. I'm counting on you folks. Also, this office worker is a bit special. I implore you both to do everything in your power to save her life. It's a companion quest? For well? Whose companion quest is that? Well? Yu Kong, oh. Hi, Yu Kong. What brings you here? This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging. Like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. 
if I drew I a graph the sky of commission and buried my level in work, or rating of story for Lofu, to see the sky it goes again. flat line to sudden peaks. Oh shit, we're at the really good part. Wow. And then it fucking goes on the negative. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice. Even if she was my subordinate, she never fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait! Wait, wait for me! Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amakasador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. <laughs> Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but... It has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. It's a really beautiful depiction. It's a really nice thing to say in a story. But I highly prefer that you didn't say it when someone died. I think there's better ways to have said this beautiful tradition. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. So soothing paper kite. You know what? You're the only thing keeping me happy right now. Hmm. Out of all this stuff we've got, what do you think we should place on the star skiff? I got a choice? For what? Just put! What do you mean? Why must we choose everything? All of the above. MCQ question. A, B, C. Item 1, item 2, item 3. Option 4! All of the above! This is a gift from Miss Yensue on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this! Uh. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xian Zhou's prosperity. This time, we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul-soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven.
I think she's dead. I think she's dead. That's, that's my theory. I cannot see a convenient, acceptable reasoning to explain she's alive. But the problem is, the death is not portrayed properly. properly. Soon the stars cave will carry the items you selected to the stars unknown. Trailblazer, you take one more step forward. What the fuck is this woman doing? You wanna see Tingyun? Long life or short life, everyone sails towards the same destination. Wait, what am I doing? Head to Star's Gift Haven and participate in the soul soothing. Where? I assume this is the last cutscene. Ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Wait, where does the ship go? Does it fly endlessly? Nowhere? What? Like how the boat funerals? Space? Wait, so it's just sent out to space. Oh. Okay, so it's like sea burial. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astro friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Basically, the space is full of deaf fox ladies. Oh. <laughs> Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? I'd like some free real estate. Please. Please. Let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. A little something for everyone! Why am I invigorating you? I've never attended a memorial. Come on, can we stay out a little longer? Ani, where am I going? Oh, I'm going back there. Hi, let me in. Look down, you bastard! I'm right here. What is your purpose for entering this? Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the La Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the La Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Why are you thinking about that? Is it a souvenir? It could indeed be considered a souvenir of a certain variety, but not one you could find in a gift store. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore Am I continue to continue to play? The record or am I done for today after this question? I'm done. World it's it's, it's, it's 2 a.m. But this time oath for shall never. But no, I might play a little bit more. But yes, I'm like 
my my purpose of the stream is done. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> of course. I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Yep, got it. Say no more. Sure thing. I might want to see Pentacony before Thank I end the stream. Thank you for your generosity, can I? General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the edict am I, wait, the no, am I going to be bounded mission, by quite a bit of story I before I enter the actual Pentacony? Like, you know how Yurilo you needed me to navigate a few maps before I hit the main map? Oh, so there is going to be quite some things. A bunch of dialogue. Yeah, I don't think I can do it today. Nice! Nice. Thirty sixty minutes, nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna do thirty sixty minutes. The crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching. We can save that for a different stream. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Goodbye, King Yuan. Plan your future after discussions with your companions. Before you return to the express, bid farewell to the people you got to know. Bye. Oh, you're so kind. You actually look down at me. Bye. Bye. Oh wait, why am I saying bye to you? Hi. Bye. I never spoke to you before. Bye. Himiko messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himiko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission, too. Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sianjo? Do you want me to chat? Is it necessary? I feel like this is... It's just fun lines. To be fair, I kind of wouldn't have mind. But it is late at night. So... In a way, I... Don't know if I want to expend my energy. I feel like it's... It's just fun. I think I don't need to. Don't think so. Uh, I've got goldfish memory. We haven't had a chance to say goodbye to everyone we met so far on this trip. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the express. The two of you come back soon, oh. okay? They forced me to don't stay. Don't worry, Mr. Yang. They forced me to stay. Oh, we return to the express. Oh, I guess that, that means I'm done, right? Lofu ends here. Correct? Oh, what a journey. My rating? Eh. Good quality, good they left me in frustration. In this goddamn story. I mean, Yurilo was kept very simple. 
Herta was an introduction, so there's no story there. I mean, it's a story still, but it's just an introduction, so you don't feel as ordered out. Yeah, this was simple to follow, which is nice. This was complicated to follow. And then it turns out to be a mess by the end. I hope Panacony will be good. When it happens. Um, yeah, so I guess I don't have to start the next quest immediately. I have way too many side quests, by the way. Like, look at the long list of messages I haven't read. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16. Yeah, so I'm not gonna start Panacony in the next stream. I will side quest first. In fact, I might even... I was told that this trace of mine, this item, meets a certain boss. However, it is done via the Runmei quest. So... Yeah, it's going to take very long. So as much as I want to see Panacony, I don't know if I will see Panacony until like the end of March even. Basically. So, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this page at least. Or clean up what I can. Like, we'll, we'll do one where a stream where I clean up my messages so that it's a lot more presentable. And then once I do that, I'll see... I'll, I'll probably be doing like 10 side quests. Because some side quests will be very fast, right? Super quick. One time, it's over. And then other side quests will be more annoying. So... And then, yeah, even companion quests, I do want to do some of them. So that I can have a little bit more friends within the, the ship. How much pools do I have? I, I'm still short of 20 pools. I will... The next HSR stream, when I do it, I will still have time to pool for Sparkle. So I'm not that stressed. Like, I don't have to do it today. Yeah, I, yeah, I know some side quests are catered by this. So... Yeah. Um, for what it is now, I think we're at a good spot. And it, it, like, yeah, I also want to take a day to find all the interactables in the game. And see whatever hidden lines that they put for us. And that, that will be my goal for the stream. So, I guess we'll leave the side questing to the next one. Um, and we'll see Panacony. I might, hold on, I might start Panacony in an a, a incoming stream. But I won't go deep in the story. I just want to be exposed to the world environment. Yeah, so Reverse is on Monday... You see, the timing of this is a little odd because I am dying to play IS4 again. IS4 is so fucking good. I need to play IS4 again. But that will be on Tuesday. So, Monday, reverse, Tuesday, IS4. I guess Friday will be HSR because of the HSR stream. I can't not... I would play IS4 in my free time, but yet at the same time, I also understand you guys want to see my experience. So I'm holding back from playing on my own for now. And like, I will I will do it while I stream with you guys. So yeah, three gacha games. Bro, I play four gacha games. I also play Project Sekai. I just don't stream it because I don't see the reason. I will stream it occasionally, but I don't see the reason to stream it. So yeah, bro, I'm running these games every single day when I wake up. Farming over there. I don't whale them all. Actually, oh shit, I have put money in every one of them already. But not a lot. Yeah. Do I still have friends slot left? For what? HSR or Project Sekai? Project Sekai is always open. I just, uh, no, the thing is I have, it's just I haven't accepted people who have requested from me. And I haven't accepted my friends, so yeah. But well, wait, I I was nearly gonna end the stream. 
But Chat I'm going to pop quiz myself. This is what I mean. Hold on. We've played this far in HSR. And so Let's see if I remember my characters. <laughs> Since I just finished Luofu right here and now, which means I would have seen most of the characters in the game, let's see if I can remember who each of them are. I hope I get nearly full marks. Let's do it. You can play a long chat, but I won't be seeing your answers. If not, that's cheating. It's my own memory. Let's go. Natasha? Hushin? March? Going well so far, Tsingchue. Hey? Who are you? Hook? Hook? Stealer? Himeko? Is this... Ponya? What's this with a giant arm? What? Help. Healer? Huh? I don't know. Oh, that's Ting Liu. That's Ting Liu. This is Ting Liu. Yeah! He looks cool. Luca? It's one of the big bro. It's the god. I forgot his name. I almost called him Gideon. Japat. Eh? I... I'm... S Esther? You... Oh... Oh, the... Hana? What? You are... You're not paler? Eh? No clue. Look like you're from Genshin, Himeko? You have wings. Tampo. Definitely sealer. Ratio. Hertha? Trailblazer? Silver Wolf? Blade? Oh, uh, Blade? You start with an X. Zeta? C. C. Re? C. 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 Re? Sing you help
Huayi? Oh! Ronya? Ping Yuan? Xing Yuan? Lynx? I don't know. Ajenti? Tanman. Bailu? Ooh. Kafka? Well? Esther? Wako? Yukong? Arlan? Wocha? Yinting? Tingyun? Is this Hitler's like chill with it, blazer? Yeah. Next one. Himeko. Huo. Lara. Tanya. Imbit. The imbit it imbit it that hung. Who is this? You have a gong. What the, what the heck is this? I'm stunned. I am stunned. Run me? Are you? Who are these people? Wait, I'm back to you now. Who are these six people? I do not know. You have a high boots or heel. I feel like I've seen you before. Is that a kid? Oh, one of them must be... Serval, you must be Serval. Now, who are you? What is that extending from your head? Is that a wart? Why do you have a ball on you? You seem familiar as well. What is a is that a character that I've met? Oh, someone is Su Shang. I haven't named Su Shang once. You must be Su Shang. You have a gong. Help! Does Su Shang not have a gong? You look very pretty to be Su Shang. Fuck! <laughs> Why do they have a spiral end? What's going on in this kit? One of them is paler. Oh, you must be paler. 
What are the remaining names that I don't remember? I must have met you before. Five. Hotel worker. Old man in a young person's body. You're the guy. You you you're 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 a guy. You're David. Dave, John, I don't know, who this, lion lady, do you think the second, huh, wings club, I don't know, oh fuck, Fuck! Why did I not get that? How would I have not get that? I I mean I kind of forgot your name. Then who's the other one that I didn't get? The other one I didn't get was. Oh. Yeah, I've never met you before. Well, it's not a bad thing, I guess. Wait, are all these Pentaconi? Is that why? I can't answer them? Only Misha is Pentaconi. Oh. When the hell did Gui Naifun appear? Oh, the site where it is. Okay. I mean, for playing HSR for one month now, I think it's a good score. Average 75. I think it's a good score. Well done. My memory is not zero, I guess. <sighs> the rest were unfair for me. Yeah. I was I was very fortunate to have gotten the Sushang. Otherwise that's there. Okay. That's a nice summary. That's a nice closure. Uh, I remember Huo Huo because... Oh, that's the next HSR video tomorrow. Uh, I remember Huo Huo because when I was watching the HSR video to be posted tomorrow, it's the one where I reviewed the characters, by the way. Uh, we edited it to a very fun video to watch. But I uh, hope you all watched that as well. I was reviewing the video and there was one part where I saw Huo Huo and I remembered... On, I noticed that I didn't see her eyes. Like when I was judging Ho Ho's outfit, I was talking about how, oh, she's like got animal features, her dress was very simple and whatnot, right? And then it's only after the stream, looking back, that, oh shit, she has paws in her eyes. So that got me to remember her. And then of course, after I noticed the animal eyes, then I noticed her fire tail. So I ended up remembering her from that. So, I think Ho Ho is just memorable because of the way she looks. Like, the features are very distinctive. So, yeah. Not because she's similar to Hu Tao. How is Ho Ho similar to Hu Tao? You mean in the way that you say it? Maybe, but that's not why I remember her. I remember Ho because Ho means fire in Chinese. So, yeah. Okay, it was fun. Good stream, fun stream. Hope you all enjoyed the more full times. Let's go side questing in the next stream and we'll see Pentaconi really soon. Alright? See you in reverse as well. Take care, y'all. Jesus Tan Heng. I think that's the funniest thing I could have said. It's the wrongest and funniest thing I could have said on the stream. <laughs> see y'all. Bye. <laughs>